What can't be fleeting? And then you're letting him lead you. It doesn't. I don't. It doesn't matter what how you feel. Saying he's led by God, but you feel like God is not telling y'all that. Do you still follow him? You said something interesting, Ish. You just said like men don't think the way that women do. So it almost sounds like you don't fully trust their expertise. So how could you successfully be led by? So the majority of men don't have kids. Y'all are picking wrong. Y'all are literally picking the minority. Every man that's on this panel, y'all have more kids than all of us women. 51% of black men are single and childless. It's excuses for the, for the statistics. The, the statistics don't go well in your favor. So you say things like, okay, are they, are they, uh, are they shooting blanks or they? Is his, cause men, I don't feel like men are overall passive the, the aggressive, the majority of men. Do you think that silence, is that passive aggressive? Cause we will do that. Yeah, if you, cause there's niggas that are use that as a form, as a, a way to trigger a woman. Like, cause a lot of time a woman to tell you, like, when you're silent, it makes me feel like I'm ignored. So a nigga will do that intentionally. Yeah, no, I'm just, cause I didn't agree with the passive aggressive part until Mary said that. I'm like, okay, I can see men and be like, you know what? I ain't saying nothing else. Well, unsubscribing from the Democratic Party help fix Black America. Let's just unsubscribe. No, you got to know why. I don't think so. That's the only thing that get black people together. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Wow. What I think we'll fix is if black people under truly understood politics. I because think for a guy, because listen, it's it's so many different reasons for a man to want to hang out with his friends. Adrian, I'm not gonna let that slide. I heard you. Why do you think that it's older single women who share that opinion? Sometimes that's the case. There has to be that. Explain what White History Month is. It's honoring the achievements of the greatest ethnic group in human history. Wow. I think all of that shit deserves a put him in the bathroom. <laughs> Would you rather have a whore of a daughter or a gay son? Um, uh, let's see here. Um, bruh. Cause if she's a hoe, that ain't my problem. Hell, she just be a hoe. Shit. <laughs> that's a that's a whore. Definitely. Like, yeah, what I was going to college a waste of time. Absolutely. Because <laughs> I wouldn't it, think it, about it. Hey, hey, can I just piggyback on that? That. I read this for me, Q. Okay, five dollar super chat from Omega Green depends. Go for STEM, medical or law. However, 
if you go for BS degrees like communications, is that supposed to be policies or Facts. criminal justice? Poli sci, political science. Poli sci, okay. yeah. Or criminal justice, it's wasted time. Final thought. When you take a man's time, it's like taking his money. When you take a man's money, it's like taking his time. Simply put, we want something for it. If you're not interested, don't go out. Sis, hit me up. Let's clear your coochie balance. <laughs> Do women, should they still be covered by men? Do women need to understand what it takes for men to feel like they should be covered by men? Yeah, absolutely. Like, women don't value men anymore and, it, and it's evident for women to admit that they're not equal to their men you may have to come to that conclusion that you are not equal to your man are you for spanking let's go around the room yes or no q are you for spanking absolutely Rage. Mm -hmm. okay so big kids don't get spankings mm, you gotta fight them niggas <laughs> <laughs> There's no difference between divorced women and single mothers. The man will, in both circumstances, suffer comparably with no benefit to himself. The benefits don't outweigh the cost. But not it's still not as it's still better to go with someone who doesn't who hasn't gone through that. It's still better to not choose. Them. Have men been getting over on household duties all this time? Listen, but I don't I don't touch a trash bag to save my life. So, so let me ask you, could you and your wife switch roles and, and what you do versus what sure that person hold y'all back or let y'all go? Physically can't nobody hold me back. Ain't no such thing as a fair fight. Direction, choose your own path. Don't just wear anything. We're garments that mean something. We got hats. We got sweatshirts. We got jackets. We even got hoodies. Let's not forget our classic teeth. Direction choose your own path. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Pace it. Pay it. Stay alert. And remember, choose your own path. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. What's popping? We are here, man. This might be risky. Did you have to stampede? We in the building. Oh, so what's popping? Wow. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, Ham? How you feel, man? I'm trying to do the right thing, my G. How are you? Hey, man, I'm good, man. But I'm tired of y'all doing this shit to me, man. I've been trying to be trying to be Black American my whole life, man. But y'all want to keep me on the boat. But that's all right. That's all right. I'm, 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 I'm an African tonight. So let's get it. All right. All right. All right. Wow. wow. Trigger was popping. What up? Good evening. Man, I'd like good. to say you look lucky you keep sending me eastern time my dude i just happen to walk in the house <laughs> i'd be like this show ain't on right now is it? but no, i'm <laughs> glad to be here what's up fellas what up, Yo, I, and so, the thing is we on the same time but i'll be you know what i'm saying well, I, 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 <laughs> I keep my computer on eastern because that's where you know all my people are you know what i'm saying yeah. ct was good 
We can't wow. work with Akata. Akata, Akata. Where's this Akata shit? Like American? Oh shit. Cotton picker. Come on, Trigger Mike. What? Don't let don't play that shit no more, Trigger. What's up, CT? My bad. <laughs> a word, a word. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> What's good? Damn. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm cool, man. Who are you voting for uh, in this election? You already know who I'm voting for. The greatest <laughs> president of all time, Donald Trump. I voted for him in 2016, 2020. Yes, and uh, I'm going to vote for him again in 2024, man. Damn. Damn. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Shit like that, shit like that, shit like Unwoke that. Unwoke was popping. Like Welcome. What it do, what it do, what it do. How you? I'm great, man. I appreciate y'all. Uh, appreciate you having me on, man. Amongst the oh, great. We can't out. work with Akata. Mike. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Unwoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's nice. going to be fun, man. I appreciate it. Like I said, man, I'm amongst the greats. I appreciate y'all. Indeed, indeed. We got a couple people that's late. Shit like that, shit like but that. But they'll definitely like be that. here, man. Ella was popping. <laughs> Yeah, we doing, doing the right thing, man. How was working all that good shit today? Everything was lovely. You know what I'm saying? Just fighting these little allergies, but I'm straight. Indeed. <laughs> Yo, I don't have allergies. How does that shit work? Do you feel sick or it just like you got a snotty it's nose? It's just pollen. It's just pollen. You know what I'm saying? Make your eyes a little runny. And it ain't nothing crazy. It just But you don't you. feel down, though. No, no. I'm not. Just, just, just itchy eyes and shit like that yeah man shit like that shit like that shit like granville that. what up though you on mute put him in the fucking bedroom get him out of here come on i am on mute man, what's going on playboy just chilling dog for the show have a little fun <laughs> I, heard, I heard i heard they got dirty foot niggas talking a lot of shit you hear me so <laughs> what purpose should have come up here on <laughs> yeah, they walling the shot. Hey, uh, Granville, you you got a little bit of a Borg um sound to your mic. What about now? You hear me now? Yeah, you ain't do nothing different. Nah, <laughs> you can hear me good. It might be my server, like real shit. I'm in the middle of nowhere, at uh, a rest area. So it's like it's that it's doing that chop. You know what I'm saying? All right, hold up. I know what it is. Yeah, man, Drell was good. Hey, everyone. What's popping? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shit like that. Shit I got. Like a, that. I know a bunch of people like trying to like get that. in shape, man. I told them to contact you. Can you tell us a little bit about the program once you started back up? Yeah, it's um, online personal training. You be mm -hmm. hiring me as an actual personal trainer. I do it online, but um, you get your programs and your nutrition plans all through an app. You can sync your app to whatever devices you got. My Fitness Pal, uh, your Apple Watch. Uh, Fitbits, whatever, whatever the hell else, else you got, we can con I can con communicate with you through the app. Everything's completely confidential, you know. Um, so it's not some PDFs that you get, you know what I'm saying? But ah, it's through man, an actual right. app. Man, drill, man, drill, man, drill. Is this the fucking sales pitch, Monica? No, you asked me to tell you what I'm selling. <laughs> Wait, you want us to buy it or not buy it? I'm confused. Fuck. Damn. Damn. It. What's it called? The Fitness Hub. The fitness hub, okay, okay. Yeah. What's the website? Well, it's not a website. I mean, I you go to go to go to my Instagram profile, click the linking tree um, link, and schedule a free consultation. Consultation is okay. free. Okay, and it, and the, the whole plan from the diet to the workouts are catered to what they want or what they need. To what you need. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Is is hard work? No, but it's at your level. It, it is, but it's at your level. Okay, okay, okay. Do me a favor. One of the moderators, go to Mandrell's um uh, IG, get the link tree, drop it. Make sure y'all fill out for that consultation. We all need it, man. We already know, um, you know, Americans in general, man. We got we got some pounds to lose. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, tap in with Mandrell. I'm gonna do the same, um, so we can get this shit popping. Man. Trigger. When the next time you going live, Playboy? <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been busy, but I figure 2026 is open, so you know. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Shit like that. 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 Illa, when your next live, bro? Well, <laughs> actually, I'm um, I'm trying to probably pop up on other people's panels, but um, okay. I'm working on getting a, like a studio space. I'm trying to have a, like a, a 
live in studio type of thing with me. You know what I mean? 85 South Joe Button podcast type of thing. So I'm like, I'll pull up on other people's panels, but I'm trying to go into a, a more in person. Yeah. That yeah. live stuff is where it's at, right? Yeah. No, nah, that shit is dope. Um, I had a setup before. I did a couple of them, man. People still people, though, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could barely get them to click the link. Imagine they got to come to the spot. That shit like oh, full of teeth, man. Shit. But when you could get it, is 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 dope. You know what well, I mean? I'm gonna stream it. I'm gonna stream it from there. Yeah. They're just gonna, they're gonna have a, a basically. We're gonna be streaming from a studio with. The yeah, no, nah, I'm saying getting niggas to come to the studio, be on time. You know what I mean? Just all that. Yeah, 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 that once you get them shit. there, it's, it's love, though. You know, like pulling teeth, like pulling teeth. Um, my, my major, pull, 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 Okay, okay. So yeah, that that's key. Having that, at least that one person who also got the same level of like accountability that helps for sure. Man, drill, drop your link. Um, yo, yo, oh, my good now. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Huh. CT, you live tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I will be live. Yeah, yeah. Nine thirty, ten thirty. What time? Ten thirty Eastern Standard Time. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I like it. Make sure y'all drop CT's link in the chat as well. Unwoke, when you going live next? What's happening? What's happening? Your boy will be live Thursday. You know, God willing. Um, you know, got a lot of stuff going on. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. I got, man, my daughter, I got some shit happening. But, you know. I man, should be man. on Thursday, though. I've been trying to be consistent. Trying my best to stay consistent. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, man, I got mad kids, man. Fuck them kids, man. Hey, yo, what's popping? Damn. Hey, yo, oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. All right, so uh, salute to everybody in the chat. We starting kind of late. You know, I usually do shout outs, but we got to get it popping, man. So, you know, I saw this one channel. Right, and quite literally, every single stream is about this topic, and it be two hundred people in there watching the same thing over and over. Right, we slightly had this conversation previously, but you know we need to settle this shit, man. You know, what do you guys think about the first Black Panther? So when I assessed it, right, I looked at um Killmonger. Killmonger represented so-called Black American, right? He was the he was the villain. He was demonized. It later once once it matured and got to the end, you realized that his um his outlook was righteous, right, and what he was trying to do, right? Obviously, T'Challa was was African, right? He was the hero, right? And I'm trying to understand, like, was that a, um, a representation of, like, how we're seen versus how the Africans are seen? And did they do that shit on purpose? Definitely. You know? What you think, Illa? I mean, I think they do. But I think it's still, it's a message and there's a, a hero and villain in both sides. It just, it's all about the perception of the person that's watching it. You know what I'm saying? Because T'Challa had a point. And Killmonger had a point. Like they both had similar views, you know. They just they went about it different ways. So the people, unfortunately, the people that watch it, they pick sides. But you just get past that, you can see the like Mac. Look at Magneto and Professor X. Look at Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They both have two different outlooks about going towards the same goal. But the goal is liberation. The goal is our people first. Just T'Challa was just going about it in a more diplomatic way because he was still in tune with his culture. He still was a part of Wakanda, just like Africans. They go through the same thing we go through. They go through similar things in America, but they're in Africa. They have a nationality. They understand their culture. They are more directly connected to their lineage. But in America, we're still trying to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, you know, they don't really know where they're from. They, don't, they can't tell you what tribe they're from. They just know they, they may be from Africa, but they don't know where. So T'Challa, um, um, Killmonger represented uh, that lack of knowledge. So that anger is more prevalent in the American experience because they don't know. You know what I'm saying? The African at least know, okay, my mom is Zulu or my father's not. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it just one knows more about themselves than the other. So that's why the anger is so prevalent. But I feel like I feel like it's just always somebody trying to divide us. You know what I mean? They sold us Africans with flowers and flowers on their face, and they sold Africans drug dealers. 
You know what I'm saying? So we both were sold the lowest expression of each other. So there's always some propaganda involved. Hmm. Okay, okay. CT was popping. <coughs> oh man. What you think, man? About the movie Black Panther? What you think about my synopsis? What I what I took from it? What no longer no represented? Because we might be able to see what Illa said, but I would argue that the people, the majority of people who watched it didn't. They see him as a villain regardless. You want to know what I really think, man? Yes, <laughs> I would. My interpretation of the movie, and by the way, it's nothing more than just a science fiction. My interpretation of the movie was the idiocy of showing Wakanda as this hyper uh, sophisticated nation state. I think Killmonger represented the reality of the black. And I think w Wakanda represents this imaginary fairy tale land that mm -hmm. never existed, that will never exist with blacks. At least in our lifetime, it would never exist. That's what I really got from the movie. Like every mean? time I saw a scene of Wakanda, I said, why are, what the hell is going on here? Why are we lying to ourselves? And I think the movie was it's even though it's a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I still looked at it as this big lie, you know. And I felt like again, like Killmonger brought me back to reality because he was from the state. That's okay. what I got from it. To be th that, that's just what I got from it, Hamp. You did ask me. So I asked you now. What do you why why is okay? Wakanda would be a, a dream for any nation or country or people, right? No, no, Does we have Japan that right now. look like Wakanda? <laughs> yeah, Japan. Uh, you could even argue China, even though China's a dumpster fire. Come you on. could argue China. You can argue. Oh my god, uh, you can argue. Who else? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go on you because all already I'm being cut off. I'm Nobody gonna... said nothing. <laughs> Nobody said shit. <laughs> Here goes the thing: most European, most Western European countries look like Wakanda. Wakanda had rocket technology. They rocket technology that's a hundred years old. We uh, most nations have already had that, still have it. But you have countries right now that are dealing that are dibbling and dabbling in fission technology right now. Okay. So, so, what I saw Wakanda was already what the white men and, and, and some Asians already have, some Orientals, I mean. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. What the fuck sir, are you talking sir, about? Not yet, not yet. No, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This man has asked me a question, and I patiently waited while you were speaking. I, I'm not up for questions. I, I, are you right? You're right. This you right. Is, you just need some you're right. All right, cool. Go, go ahead, Kate. This yeah. is facts. Wakanda yeah, show, <laughs> Wakanda show what already the European already has, and that is just a fact. I'm done talking. Go ahead, Illa. Real talk. Real talk. Go ahead, Illa. And then I'll get everybody else. I'm on. sorry. I apologize. But you said a bunch of fucking bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I I, I can't take I already know you about to see bullshit all night. So I ain't even you don't you just a face. So we just gonna get to the bullshit first. For any fucking black man to sit here and be mad that a work of fiction made black people look good, it's fiction, bro. It's it's supposed to inspire you. You think everything the white man said about himself is based on a fucking fact? He'll make a movie of him as a pharaoh. He'll make a movie of him as your ass. It's called entertainment. He projects images that's not actually real into the world that he never did. And for you to sit here and say that shit, like with this, I mean, I don't have a problem with Trump. But you came on here with your fucking Trump hat and you're going to sit here and tell black people that that's, that's stupid? Who the fuck you think taught the European how to speak? Like, what do you know about history? Not, Europe was 99.9% illiterate. Like, oh, that's shit. a fact. So we even got to fast forward to Wakanda. What do you know about history, brother? How do you think the European got into knowledge, brother? Who taught the European how to read and write? I'm asking you a question. How, who told him that? You, may I answer? Yeah. I would assume that the European <clears throat> developed language like every other human being on the planet. It started off with click clacks. It started off with drawing on the uh, on the ground during hunter gatherer or during the hunter gatherer stage of mankind, and it eventually evolved independently into a language. The right. the European languages you have the well, Indo-European languages that consist of 
uh, Latin and Greek, et cetera, et cetera. They may have evolved from, again, simple click clack languages or drawing on a car, a cave somewhere. That's probably probably where it came from. The, this myth that the black man has taught everybody everything. I, I, I don't see it. It's not evident. And it's actually appalling that black people lay claim to almost everything, including air. But the fact of the matter is, is that if the black man taught the white man all this, why hasn't the African or, or, or the black American developed for himself? I don't get it. Exactly. I mean, okay. oh. so so you did. So basically, you, you use two words. You said, I assume, which means you don't fucking know. Two, you said another you said another word. You never really defined it. You're assume and you, you said, I feel and I assume. So in other words, that was a real fancy, articulated way of saying you don't know. So it didn't just come from click clacking. That's not, we're not just making that up. It's not saying that black people are everything. The word human means color man. So the original human was the colored person. So it's not like it's an African thing. It's really just science. The, the original human being was a colored person, whether it was in Europe, whether it was in Australia, the original phenotype for a being was just a color, a person of color. That's just a historical fact. So you don't know. Europe was 99.9% illiterate. They didn't know how to read. They didn't know how to write. When Africans was already an advanced society, these people were eating rotting flesh and waiting to, wearing the same clothes their whole life. And I have literature literally right to me that can prove that. So we don't have to just speak from my mind and what I assume and what I feel. But it's not about putting everything on black people because only one race is the human race. But just to hear black people say the ignorant stuff you have with really no literature to back it up, it's just really offensive, bro, because it's not even about being racist against white people because there's good people in all races. It's good people in China. It's good Asian people. It's good African people. It's good people everywhere. But at least speak from a, a place of factual information because... And as far as African black people in America, black people invented damn near everything in this country, bro. Most of the thing, most of the inventions come from Africa. Like these are not opinions; these are just historical facts. So how can you? Do you think the Renaissance era? Do you are you familiar with the Renaissance era and how it was it was created? So, yes, yes, I how am. Was it Who started the Renaissance? The so the Renaissance era, I know exactly what you're talking about. Was the reemergence of classical Roman uh, architecture, sir? I know all about the. I know a, a lot about. You, you don't know. You don't know what the. Oh, okay, you tell me. You, so it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't the reemergence uh, in the 14th. The Renaissance era. Of, era of, it wasn't the reemergence. The reemergence of the European that was his his, his building styles were his architectural <laughs> styles were after were were in the uh, were were trying to pretty much mimic. Ancient Greece and ancient Rome. That that's not the Renaissance period, right? Okay, okay. You, you you're right. You're right. Anything else, sir? That you can correct me on. Go ahead. The Renaissance era is when the Moors came to Europe and taught them art and literature. The original Greeks were the Etruscans. You know what I'm saying? So these are these. I don't know what the hell y'all be talking about. I don't know where y'all be getting y'all from. But it's just real sad because just it's, it's, it's such a subgroup. It's just because black people have gone through things. You can't you can't remove the things they actually accomplished. We all know our people got a lot of issues. We all know we 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 fallen short in a lot of ways, but it wasn't always like that. So to fit to see people just totally just throw the whole race out because of a certain bad apples, it's just crazy, man. It's still your people, bro. Like European people don't do stuff like this. They're not gonna take the lowest part of our people and let them just convince the whole world the whole race is done because there's a couple undesirables. It's very weak, it's not masculine, it's some real bitch ass nigga shit. But I digress. Can I ask you a question? Did black people invent homosexuality as well? Did we? Did we, did we invent gay butt sex? Hold on, let me let me let me let me ask you a question. Did we invent gay butt sex too? Since we invented everything, did we invent that too? I never said we yes, invented. No, no, did we invent that? Just because we invent everything, right? So so did we invent gay butt sex? Did we invent, did we invent? Did we invent pedophilia then too? Because we invent so many things. Who is, who is we, we're the first. If we're the first people to do everything, so surely we're the first people to do those things, right? You're you're you're, you're great. Was, but we never okay. venerated. Hold on. Okay. We probably was the first people to do everything, but listen. Well, did we ever venerate homosexuality as the epitome of our culture? We've never done that. Now, just because you have somebody in your community that does something bad, that doesn't mean you make that the, the face of your culture. The face of African culture has always been man and woman and child. That's always been what we push 
to the world. We never pushed homosexuality to the world. Does that mean it wasn't gay people in the community? No, it don't mean that. We just never took that and said, this is our thing. This is what we do. We've never done that. You can go to Egypt yeah, right now with actors of men and women. Like we always venerated man and woman. That was always our culture. But it's funny that you said that because the Europeans that you love so much, they was always into it. You love the European too, sir. Let them finish. They got another everybody. couple minutes, whoa, 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 whoa. then we'll get back in. You 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 love the European just as much as I do, sir. You're sitting I said I love everybody. Your, 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 yeah, you're wearing his hat. I'm pretty sure you got a Maserati outside, sir. Everything I said about I you love is, everybody. Yeah, you, I don't yeah, hate you. Speak, you're speaking white. Ignorance. Ignorance. You, you you love the white man. You, you made it personal by saying I love the European. You love the European. You made it personal by saying what that's I made it personal to you. I just didn't speak it to you. Bro, you made it. You made I it real personal. I didn't I'm make sorry. anything. You were talking. Hold on for a second. You were talking. Let me talk. I didn't make anything personal to you. Now, no, not to I'm, me. I take ignorance sir, personally. You're telling me. You're telling me who my people are. My people are my mother and father. You black asses don't give a fuck about me, sir. Are you see, kidding see, me? See, me? See, <laughs> when you were speaking, I, I may have been making faces, but I was not talking. <laughs> Sir, miss me with the romanticism of black culture, African culture, right. with this we are one, we are family, blah, blah, blah. The black man has never been unified. The, when the white man came into Africa, it was thousands of languages. Just right now, it's thousands of languages right now yep. because the African is too goddamn ignorant to have a yep. unified language. So the fact of the matter is, sir, is that you're using language that women would definitely use and, 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 and feel something about. The fact that you said that we're one people, sir, I'm not people with you, sir. My people are my mother and father, people who love me unconditionally. You When you were, sir. When you were speaking, I was silent. Now, again, I was making faces, but I was silent. The fact of the matter is, sir, is that you are you are an individual, sir. You don't know how your computer works. You don't know how pretty much everything in this reality works. The black man doesn't control any industry here in America or in Africa. I will admit the black America is on top in terms of the African diaspora. But, sir, you have no idea what you're talking about when you're saying that the African introduced all these technologies into Europe. But for some reason, Africa was always underdeveloped. But let me guess, right, the, 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 the weak-ass European somehow came in and destroyed everything from the sophisticated African, right? So we had structures over... 50 stories high in ancient Africa, sir. But somehow the illiterate <laughs> European came in and conquered us. That doesn't make any goddamn sense, sir. The European has kingdoms going back and civilization going back tens of thousands of years, sir. And the fact of the matter is, sir, if it wasn't for the European, you and everybody on this goddamn panel will be speaking click clack languages with a plate in your lip. Go ahead, sir. Damn. Um, All right, last rebuttal. Last rebuttal, then we then we move on. Where y'all be finding? I don't know where y'all be finding these these fucking weird ass people like i don't like that's why i'm getting away from this this, this type of shit because the stuff y'all be saying on these panels bro like i know you're not really from no real place and you're right you'll never be my people because where i'm from we beat people up that be talking that dumb shit you talk you wouldn't even be able to come outside typical, typical violent black man you know how you grew up. typical violent i was getting wedgies and thrown in the yeah. dumpster and all that shit so i know you like i know you mad at black people I, I I know you is, bro. So I get it, my nigga. But I, I'm gonna say this though. I'm gonna say this though, man. What you just said was so historically inaccurate, and the fact that you just because you speak with a certain cadence and a certain uh, European tone of voice, that doesn't mean what you're saying makes sense. And just because I might stutter sometimes and I might jumble on my words, that don't mean I don't know what I'm talking about. The European, everybody that looks European, it's not even European. See, when you understand history, you know how they got into power. See, if I got a million dollars and you don't, and I marry into your family and you kill me off, you still are heir to what I have. But that don't mean you are the original blood of that. That's why most blue bloods in Europe, they say what? They have blue bloods because they can trace their blood back to Europe. I mean, black back to Egypt. So they are, they, 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 they're not even as European as you think because you don't study history. So you don't know how far this thing actually goes most of us do not have the intellectual patience to really read about more than just what we know recently like you haven't given give, give, let me get let me let me ask you this can you give I us want to some rebuttal to hap go ahead All right, and then we moving on to everybody else right? can you give us some literature that, that that can support your sentiments 
No, I don't have literature, sir. I have eyes. I can open my exactly. eyes and see. Exactly. Yeah, so, so to the people that's watching right now, to the people that's yeah. watching right what's now, what's your don't literature? Listen Ella, don't listen to nobody. If they can't give you no literature <laughs> that can point you in a direction where you can learn for yourself, please don't listen to these people because he ain't give us. I can give you some literature. I can give you, I can read you some books right now. He doesn't have any. So he's just talking from a perspective. He doesn't have anything to back that up. He's just talking. But y'all go ahead. I don't want to take over. Y'all, y'all Ham, can I give go. one last rebuttal, Ham? Yeah, one last you know, rebuttal, and then we'll, okay. we'll move on. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I want people, once again, to see what happened here. I gave my opinion. This gentleman became upset and offended to the point where he had to talk to me. Now, he mm -hmm. sat there. He was the first one to speak. I could give a fuck. He could say a dinosaur was outside. I could give a fuck what he's saying. He gave his opinion. I gave mine. <clears throat> because he can't name me any industry currently, because he can't name me any systems, because he can't name me any African nation that looks like Wakanda, he gets mad and resorts back to what typical bl uh, black men do, violence. This is exactly why... I just said you the type. You of said growing up, I would have got I got wedgies. You, you said growing up, you, you don't would. see, and, and that you just would. further proves the violence of the savage. It Africa. proves that everybody no, don't sir, deserve to talk. Sir, and some sir, motherfuckers sir. like to fuck out the way. Hold on, let him finish. Let him finish, Ella. This further proves that when this further proves, in my opinion, why the black man. Whether he's an African, whether he's a Caribbean, or whether he's an America, he is so close, he is so related to the primal stages that he will resort back to violence. Because unlike the white man who is typically sophisticated, who could typically use discourse, he he says, "Oh, that you got beat up, you got bullied." Doesn't even know anything. Doesn't know anything about me. Doesn't know anything about what happened when I was a kid or not. That's just how I'm you come not making any attack story. Can I talk? Yeah, how long is your rebuttal? Y'all, y'all going back and forth. I can't believe this. When he's talking, I'm quiet. All right, all right go ahead. Yeah. Finish your finish. He's finish. Saying I'm coming off as a weirdo. How am I coming off as a weirdo? I speak good English. I'm wearing a blazer. How, sir? How, you, you mean to I'm, say I you're, speak you're, good English? What? I'm wearing a blazer. Like Ham, can I talk about him? Ham, Ham. I've never cut him off. Ella, let him finish, Ella. Go ahead, so, finish, Keanu, so everybody so, else gets so, off. Hold on for a second. So this weirdo who's a part of the largest and greatest black fraternity in the planet, this weirdo who was a teacher, this weirdo who's worked in law enforcement, <laughs> this weirdo who was a community member, uh, I've never done any crimes, never done this, now I'm a weirdo. And this is exactly why. See, in the white race, in the white race, oh, I will be respected. <laughs> Hurry up and finish, CT. Go ahead. Man. Me, he's cutting me off because he's All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna I'm a mute Ella. I'm gonna mute him. I'm gonna mute him. I'm gonna mute him. I'm gonna mute him. Go ahead, CT. I'm gonna mute him. Golly. Prove me fuck this this book shit. This Francis Crest Well singing uh Naeem Akbar. Trust me, so I have an African bullshit <laughs> here. All that shit. Sir, prove to me right now an industry, an industry, steel, oil, energy. Prove to me right now what the fuck the African is that the black man, the African is so fucking unified. Prove to me right now an in the fucking street what the black man controls and operates. And I'm done with that, Ham. Thank you so much, sir. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. I am going to make sure that clip of those two gentlemen having a discourse is out in the morning. <laughs> so you can have that to assess in in, in it by itself. Uh, you know what I mean? Can you, block, uh, can you block that person with the rainbow? They said I look like Viola Davis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all with the two dollar set. Well, kind of is supposed to be fictional New Jerusalem. Oh, uh, what? Team Fatty from the Dirty South with the two dollars says salute. Bob was popping. <coughs> chosen with the uh, chosen sixteen nineteen with the two dollars. What's good? He said, "What does that mean? White, white people? Is that what you're trying yeah. to say? White no. people failed to civilize the U.S. five times before the slaves came." Caesar's palace with the five dollars says philosophical is one hundred percent correct. 
the Moors, black people, ruled Europeans for around 800 years and took Europe out of the dark ages. Truth and reality undefeated. What up, Red Pill Ranger with the five dollars says that it's only one race. The human race statement is false and needs to be ended. It's not a human race. It's a human species which has races within it. Make it up, though. Shit like that. Shit like that. But the 20 ball says supporting the show. Salute, my G. Judah Shalom. He said 12 drive stand up. Harmonic Universe, I think this is, oh, he became a member, salute. What up, buzzin', buzzin', bird, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy, you thought your cousin wasn't. Appreciate you, cuzzo. Gary S with the 10 hours, what's poppin'? He says, good evening, Hampton panel. Chaotic is in the building. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ariane with the 2 dollars says, stop this, this, stop this back to Africa sh shit. Black people, the world is ours. Maybe Earth, I don't know. Bob with the five houses. Blacks talking about how good we were is like a 60 year old talking to how he got the highest score in math class in first grade. Gunny <laughs> with the 20 ball said, Illosophical is a certified clown. Do the history of Rene Lacoste ellipsis that the hat you have on is, is the representation of your ignorance. You can't lecture anyone on history with that hat on. Hypocrisy 101. Mm. Salute the savage. <laughs> With the 50 ball in the cash app, he said, C salute to CT for coming out swinging, man. I got to pay the 50 ball um, tune one time. Other outside is human. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. She want to run the street, so let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be cock blocking? I really hate to see you go. Let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. TG with the two dollars. Hate him or love him. CT is great at what he does. Omega Green with the five dollars. Shout out to you, Hamp. Salute, my brother. I just came in. Have the Africans been delineated from the FBA brothers on the panel? If not, can we do that for clarity? All right, that's that's fair. Uh, no Red Pill Ranger with the suit out says chaotic cool nigga, aka Ru Uncle Ruckus Jr. DJ Tim Smooth. <laughs> what up, Hamp and the fellas? What's up? Boy, he said that before you got here. So he, he you know what I mean? He said fellas, but he ain't see you. That's all. Damn, man. So all right, let's Omega Omega made a fair point. Okay. CT. Are you <laughs> what's your what's your what's your lineage? Is it African or Black American, or what's the, what's the proper term me, for Black American let nowadays? This, let me take this plate out my lip and uh, talk <laughs> normal here. <laughs> Hemp, tonight, do you mind if I identify as the one and true great ethnicity on the planet? Yes, I mind. Do you mind if I identify solely as an American tonight? <laughs> yes, CT, I mind. So, okay, well, you might not identify as a Black American because obviously, what? That's the automatic American. Uh -oh. Identifying as an African no is going fucking back. way. Where's your daddy from? How about that? That's a better answer. That's a better. Sir question. does not mind. No, uh, no. Where's your daddy planet. from? Answer that question. He's from this planet, sir. He's from this planet. We understand that. What what continent does he hail from? Africa. Okay. Uh, first generation, yes, okay, all right, yes. all right. thank you, CT. God, yeah. damn. put him in the fucking bed, get him out of here. Come on, Ella, identification, please. <laughs> Black American or from the continent? I guess that's it. Yeah. I'm a Moorish American, okay. Would that where you where your, your daddy from here? Yeah, definitely. My mother and father from here, all right. All right, cool. Man, Dre, where your daddy from? America. Okay, okay. He's black or he's Latino? What? My, my dad bad. was black. My bad, my bad, my bad. Salute to your father. I'm woke. I get, I get a skin color from my mother. Okay. <laughs> Stop the cap. I'm woke. Where your daddy from? That's better. I can get an answer like that. <laughs> USA. America. All right. Yes, Osa? Sir. 
Nigeria, Africa. <clears throat> okay. Trigger Mike. Nigeria. Granville. The Nine War. Tupelo in Florida. The fuck is that, man? I think he said Ninth War. He's from the Nine War. All right. Tupelo in Florida. Well, that's America. That's Louisiana, right? Um, or New Orleans. Hey, yo, where your daddy from? I'm a mud blood. What's that? I'm a Nigerian nigga. Where your daddy from? Nigeria. Oh, you Nigerian. Okay. Okay. Gway. <laughs> yeah. Where your daddy from? And my dad is from Liberia. Okay. Why you were so late? Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. All right, I appreciate you. All right. Everybody knows <coughs> excuse me, where everybody's from. Let me ask y'all this question, man. What do your parents say if you're African? What do your parents say about black people? When you was growing up, how are black people characterized coming up? Uh, I can I, I guess I'll go first. Go ahead. Uh, my my family didn't really make <laughs> any real distinctions between race or black Americans or anything like that. Uh, my mother spent some time here in America, so she's you wouldn't you can't tell that she's not black American. So we never really made those distinctions in my household. You know, there were differences, but nobody, you know, my father told me I'm not, I'm not any better than anybody else, um, e even if I may seem different. So there wasn't right. no distinctions in my house. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ask a different question because I, I think I, I did some due diligence and I know I, I got uh, a couple other African niggas. Go ahead, Trigger Mike. Yeah, I mean, also, man, I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but but let me try to let me try to put it in perspective. Um, yeah, just speak for yourself. Don't you? Ain't got to no, 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 no. I'm, I'm joking. But I'm just saying. Um, what I I'm gonna answer this from the perspective of I get this. I mean, growing up here, we get this question from our Black American friends. And one thing I um, I'll make the distinction to say is that my parents never said anything that Black people don't already say about each other. They are actually very discriminatory when they come here because they realize this amalgamation of people it means that we don't have a shared culture and we don't have aligned values so they have to draw a line in the sand early they have to you don't hang with people who do this that or the third now the interesting thing is that like i said africans do it but we get scapegoated as like we have the audacity to do it but i want you to notice something i've never no group of people on earth likes their version of niggas if that's proper to say all right so they make a clear distinction that you will align with your values it i've never seen my parents disrespect any black american that had similar values to them so that's why i know it's about values you see what i'm saying what's the, what's the assumptions though the assumption well uh, the assumptions also come from what you can deduct with your eyes if there's no father present if a girl is walking around in the street and she got no guidance, she can't be friends with my sister, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So they're like, look, I can't have those influences influencing my child or whatever system they, they use in their household because we practice something different around here. And they made very sure to say, you can't go over there. You can't hang with him. These are your friends. And, and I had a lot of black American friends. They just all had similar values to what my family had. Mike. It is beautifully spoken. What the fuck are the assumptions, though? Um, they don't. I think Come on, Mike. Africans don't think. We don't think um, people take family values that seriously. Black Americans. Hmm. I that's think it. that's one of the big ones. It's just family values. Hold on, Osa. You had your turn. Uh, <laughs> you play. You play. You play. You play diplomacy. And so now Mike, that was, that Mike, one is, Mike is, is being diplomatic as well. We need to understand what's being said in the house. I think the, the biggest one is for me was family values, but it's almost as if you got to be careful who you select because your family is everything to you. And if you, cause she, they knew I love black women. I mean, they knew I was going to marry a black woman. So they said, you better be careful because this ain't no thing. This is everything to us. You see what I'm saying? Your children will have our last name. 
Ain't no woman going to tell my mom or my dad that they can't go pick up their grandchild. And we saw that so much, you know, the fighting, the infighting with families and all of that. So that was the biggest thing I can say to me. It was that, you know, they don't really take family as serious as we do. And then, yeah, that's the one I'll say. I'll think of some more. Though. Oh, OK, so they frowned upon you marrying an American black girl. They didn't frown upon it. No, they just said a, a, a line value. She just had to have the same values. That's it. So what they say, hey, better route. You know how them niggas is. Basically, yeah. That's a frown, right? So, Mike, I've been to Africa, and y'all wrap niggas up in tires and set them on fire alive. Hey, at least you know we savage. What values, we, are, you, what values are you upholding when you bring them up? I just Y'all do some wild shit in Africa. Like, seriously. I mean, bro, Africa savages. is not a country. Here we go. We got to man, man, right? So when I hear this whole thing about values and stuff like that, I get confused. Cause I yeah. knocked up a lot of you motherfuckers over there. You know what I mean? I, I, but Mandrell, we said family values. What's the marriage? Family. Really? How many kids over there grow up with their with their fathers? Most of, them. Most of them. Most of them. Most of them. Most of them. Like, so, like, most among of them. All, most of them where? Listen, your experience listen, there was very all different from mine. Among all that savagery, after I wrap your ass up in that tire. And, 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 and I'm gonna go home and feed my kids. Y'all niggas is not wait. That's the majority over there. Make no sense. Take care of their motherfucking kids over there in Africa. They ain't struggling. They they, they go they go they get up going to work every day. Taking care of their motherfucking kids in Africa. Who the hell talking? Grand the majority. Man. Nah, this is me right here, nigga. GPG. Oh, man, put a light on your face. This is what I'm asking. <laughs> nigga, I'm in the truck. Nigga, I'm light skinned. You can see me, nigga. Burley. I'm just saying, like, like, put some glasses on, nigga. Your is different from mine, man. My, 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 Mike. All right, hold Yo, on, Mandrell. Let, let me, let me, let's let. What, what was, what was see? Now, what was in your household, Al? Bro, can, can y'all hear me real clear? Yes. I, I make, all right. So, first, before I go, uh, uh, kill the mic. I said, kill the mic. Trigger Mike and uh Osa. Uh what village y'all from? I'll put it in the back chat. I'm, I'm not from a village, but I've been in Man, them niggas well, from I'm a saying, city in America. Where, where, where your parents from? Where your dad from? <coughs> city, Benin City. Ebo, you're about what 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 I'm, what I'm your from? I'm your That's about tribe. I'll try. I'm Edo. Okay, so well a lot of people not in on the panel and in the chat not gonna understand is that just like uh Mandrell, he he's he's speaking out loud. Africa is a continent. Is a continent made up of multiple cultures, multiple people, multiple languages. So you can't put all of us in one. Like we don't all think like even within the same country, us three dudes that are from Nigeria, we don't even we don't even have the same upbringing in in a in a sense. Me, I'm Ebo. I'm from the bougie folks. All right. The Ebos are the bougie, are the bougie Africans of right. and the Yobas are not right? so much. So my, my upbringing will be a little different than theirs. All right. So in my house, in my household, my dad, he came over here with the mindset of fitting in, being a American, being like the Americans, like you no know saying, fitting into their culture. So I wasn't told or I wasn't told none of this stuff where I, I need to uh, discriminate against. I need to fit in. All right. On top of that, earlier on top, when I uh, explained myself, I'm a mud blood. My dad's from Nigeria, but my mom is from Mississippi. Right. So I, I, I've experienced both sides of that coin. I was raised in an African household, but on the weekends, I was going to my nigga side. I was going to the hood. I was experiencing that side too. So I, I experienced both sides of the coin, whatever. So like, as far as your question, uh, him, in my household, I wasn't taught to discriminate against black people. Now, my father has said something about like not bringing a white woman home. Like that's probably the only thing I've ever heard as far as like discriminatory or whatever. But as far as Black people, I, I wasn't taught to uh, discriminate against African-Americans or, or I couldn't, it, it wasn't possible. 
because I, I I'm on both sides of the coin anyway. So my dad couldn't do that to me. So like that particular question is that's what it was, it's kind of hard for me to answer that or whatever because I live I grew up in a Nigerian African home, but at the same time I was y'all still, niggas uh, is tiptoeing like a motherfucker, man. My boy Mike, right? He he he's he's Ebo, right? And he told me straight up, his parents said, "Don't bring no black American woman in this fucking house." And I didn't have that same experience. But I'm saying though, so what I'm so if you don't have that experience, either you can't answer or you can answer based on some friends around you that had uh, a similar experience. Because we're trying to understand what the stereotypes are, right? The lazy, we don't have morals and values. Where is that shit coming from? If if, so, if y'all households are just are y'all households outliers or what's the norm? So let me let me so let me elaborate on this. So I grew I also grew up around a lot of other Nigerian kids as well. Okay. None of us grew up in this way that what y'all are talking about. This stuff y'all are talking about is some new social media shit. This is the new generation of African kids coming up, coming over this Akata and all that. I don't know what this. Shit, I didn't ever knew what that shit was until like a couple years. ago. Sugar Hill came out in 1990. They were talking about that on Sugar Hill. That's yeah. You can't work with Akata, Akata, Akata. Where's this Akata shit? Black American? Oh shit! Cotton picker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't grow up with this shit, so I don't know nothing about that. Okay. I only found out about that till like recently <laughs> when I started seeing younger people, people younger than me, talking about it on social media. So I don't know about that, nothing about this shit, so I can't speak on that. All right. So, what you, uh, to what you just said, bro, about y'all niggas being through from three different tribes or whatever, that shit happened in America too, nigga. Yeah, I'm, I'm growing up in the South. Niggas up north. We may have similarities, nigga, but we were raised differently, nigga. It's the same thing. And to your family thing, like my mama's side, educated, military, they they run they run stream lines. Like we talking about well educated, well taking care of people, you know what I'm saying? They come from something. And then you got my daddy's side, which is a bunch of niggas. I know the difference. So we know these differences. Well, have one child to say is the egregious, disgusting shit that you barefoot niggas used to say coming up that you used to hear from your uncles, your mamas, your daddy and them. Because I done heard the shit my motherfucking self coming out their fucking mouth. That's what happened on here. I'm gonna you, hear hold up, hold up. Hold shit. you heard that from the parents of the people. My nigga, my nigga, let me, let, me, let, me tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something I grew up next to an African family that grew up two blocks away from me, right? Mm-hmm. I could not play with them because their parents did not like black Americans and they thought that I was a fucking devil because of the skin color I am, nigga. I grew up with this. I could not go play with these children and they could not play with us because I was not liked because of my fucking skin color. Because I was a okay. devil. And yeah. this came from first generation Africans. Their children were born here, but they were first generation over here. Them people still stay in this house till it's fucking day. And I think first things first, we want to know where did they come from? Yeah, where did they come from? So let that's Gway, that, I, it comes let, from. Hold on, hold on. Let Gway, let Gway get in. Let Gway get in. And then also, hold on. Let Gway get in. Do it really matter, nigga? I know where they come from. Real quick, real quick. Let Gway get in, and then also you can chime back in. All right, Gway, what's up? What you think? Hey, how you doing? I'm good, man. Um, I know you came over here. What were you like? 12, 14? I forget. I was seven. I was seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Um, what were the stereotypes, right? Because I I know what people hear, but I wanted to go back a generation. I was talking to, like I said, a couple of my buddies, and they told me what their parents told them coming out of their household. You know what I'm saying? But like, what were the stereotypes? What did you think you knew about Black Americans? Um, honestly, yeah, I'm mute, man. I mean, honestly, uh, for me, when I came, I was 17, so I didn't really, um, there wasn't really a stereotype then uh, when I came, but when you will be around, like, uh, I think once I hit my, like, 20, 21, um, when you go to, like, events and stuff, yeah, you do hear some African parents telling people to stay away from Black Americans. They do say that. Um, they they talk about them being lazy. They talk about them not like working. Um, they talk about you know they're killing each other, stuff like that. 
So they tell the kids, you know, if you don't want to get deported back, you want to stay away from people like that. So there are some African families that do tell the kids that that is a fact. Okay. And yeah. out of those sentiments, do you agree with any of them? What do you think? Well, I mean, I for me, I got to I I got to know uh, Black American in a different way because when I came to the U.S., um, the area I live uh, in, I live in Philadelphia for like a year with my dad, and then I came over to my mom. So, um, but for me, living in the suburbs, you know, like I, my school, I was the only Black person in my high school. So my experience was different because I used to go to, um, I actually uh, used to go to the hood. You know, that's where I met most of my Black American friends at, you know. Um, the family that I met that actually welcomed us, that was really nice to us. I mean, we still uh, consider them family today and stuff. And there are uh, some of my uh, Black American friends that I met that we're not friends no more at all because um, when I came, I had to go through like a medical situation. Mm -hmm. And me, the friends that stuck around me during that tough times mm -hmm. are just the friends I kept. Um, so, I mean, I have fun and stuff, you know, being in high school, hanging out there and stuff. But once I graduated high school and, and, and enter into the adult world, you know, my priority is started to change for me, you know, because I, you know, I started going to community college um you know me and my best friend at that time she was she was from india um we always used to hang out there go party there you know but once we graduated high school uh we kind of it kind of switched for us and it was different so our interaction with most of the folks that were there um at that time that we were friends with honestly weren't people we were supposed to be hanging around with in the first place um the one african-american family that was not like that uh is the ones that i still have today that i still friends with i, I call them my family because they are like family to us okay. so like my entire family know that knows them but they're um, an outlier um for me yeah you think niggas is lazy no i don't think everybody is lazy you think yeah. niggas is lazy though no i don't now think you, that now you know i know Gway, when you get upset do you think niggas uh, is lazy? Keep it real. No, I mean, I, I would say that to hurt your feelings because if you're insulting me back, like I have to say something back to you. But like, mm -hmm. you know, I've worked with a lot of uh, African Americans who they're not all lazy, you yes. know. But you so, know, way you know they say you know a lot of them in the first place. Yo, you got a, you got a little bit of a feedback, but Gway, you know they say mad people, drunk people, and kids tell the truth. So when oh, you get, like when if I'm you, mad. If you mm -hmm. if you're disrespecting me or uh, uh, telling me things that mm -hmm. um, are going to I'm going to find disrespectful to me, you know, or you trying to pull me down as an African or call me all kind of different stereotype that you have come up to. Yes, I'm saying stuff to hurt your feelings. We're going to go back and forth. And I'm not so, going to tell you that you disrespecting me. No, I'm just, no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying why. I'm not saying I'm not even saying wrong or right. I'm just saying what it is that you think when you say it so you know you say we lazy or we don't have nothing to complain about etc yeah but i think that in the so sense we, we trying to get to the bottom of it you feel me in a sense it's easy to hurt you guys feelings because you guys are very emotional too so it's easy to just say certain things that would trigger y'all how do you yeah. define black americans being emotional why though how how do you see that i mean they react before they think like what? <clears throat> like you talking about like the violence and stuff? No, not the violence. Ain't anything. Like if you go like the explicit, if you go to like the store or you go like even uh people I've worked with, like there's certain things that will be said to them, you know, um, and they they will react before thinking about what was said to them. Like like what though violently or talking shit like what? oh yeah just talking crap like you know maybe cussing out the boss or, or telling them you know i'm getting the f out of here you know i'm um, screw your job i don't i don't need this job and all of that stuff so you know like and they, some of them will walk the job you know they don't really care um and okay. they will go so okay so let, let me i just want to be clear 
the niggas you work with are are prove or disprove the stereotype because you know two minutes ago you was like the niggas you work with is straight now them niggas is cussing out the boss and walking off the job so no, what's the minority them, majority some of them are good like but some of them they they do fit the stereotype I minority mean, majority though I, at my job because there wasn't a lot of them there so i would say minority so it's only a couple niggas that got that got act right in them yeah but that wasn't a lot of black american where i worked though okay but you think majority of niggas is emotional they go off and say fuck that job yes i i, I think they react they react before they uh even think about what was said or what is being said to them mm, mm, mm. i mean that's black american specifically Yeah, because I, I mean, I work with Asians, I work with uh, Middle Eastern, I work with uh, other groups. Like they don't, they don't react like that. I don't know if maybe because they're scared to lose the job, or they're scared because, like you know, as a foreigner when you come, you know, it's it's like pushed into your head to behave because the the end goal for that is going back home, and the places we come from, we don't want to be back there. So. so what? That's yeah. wild as that's wild as fuck to me, Ham. Ham, you know, I drive trucks. You know how many Africans drive trucks that be fighting in the middle of the fucking truck stop, cussing each other out and shit <laughs> every motherfucking day in a fucking native tongue and shit. And when they speak English, you can barely understand these motherfuckers. And these motherfuckers fighting on aisle nineteen at the food at the fuel island, nigga. Security gotta come out here and break them up. Them niggas speaking a different language. Are you serious? Africans not emotional. Y'all some of the most emotional motherfuckers out here on this road. <laughs> These niggas real life. I done seen an African real life pull up a machete out of his fucking truck at a yeah. white man because he was mad because he got cut off. This is just a discussion. There's no need for yelling and screaming. That's bullshit, bro. <laughs> That's grand. Go ahead, Osa. It's not that deep. So I, I think that this even this. No, I'm just talking. I'm I'm cool. I'm just talking. No, okay. this I mean, discussion alone points out the low IQ that we have as a collective, right? The fact that we even delineate from each other, we have a lot of the same similar habits and actions. The fact that we delineate from each other and try to make it seem like we're different is exactly that's why other groups of people look at us like we're low IQ. What similarities are there? All of them. All of the the wild, oh, yeah. the emotionalness that we have. The fact that we we form together in in in, in gangs and shit like that—that's tr those are tribes. We're tribalistic people. But when yeah. we pour out liquor for the dead homies, that's pouring out liquor for the ancestors. We do all of the same shit, damn near. But we make these delineations like we different. We sit here. We will sit here and say, "Oh, the white man took us from Africa and they made us slaves." And then we act like we're different people. You niggas ain't done your DNA history to know that you come from the same place I come from. So to make a delineation just shows how low IQ we are as a collective in and of itself. What so, you doing? Oh, hey, so why are you here? If we, we trying to have the conversation, if you can't I'm have the conversation, the conversation. Then, let's let's move it along. We talking about all this. No, stuff. see, that's the thing. You you're saying this, but you we in the population of what you grew up and how your father raised you, right? He 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 drilled that out of your head. But the overwhelming majority, the sentiment is that you are an outlier. And so no, since you are not. an outlier, what I'm saying is the sentiment is that you're an outlier. No, right? it's the same, so, it's the same, hold on. It's the same as, let's say, the brother uh, GBG Bill. He said half his family is, is kind of upper echelon, well-to-do. And they say stay away from the from the, the part of the family that's not. They ain't telling me stay away, nigga. I said I can tell the difference. Well, I can see the difference. Right? It's a difference. So most of the black, the well-to-do black Americans that I know, they talk about the not well-to-do black Americans in the same way, right? Because it's the same classism. It's classism. <clears throat> no, it's it's not, it's not. It's not. It's not. It, well, the reason why it's not classism is because Gwei is being honest. She didn't. She initially kind of tiptoed around it, but she started talking, and that sentiment is shared. So we need to understand why to actually address it to then get past it. Us just saying what you saying, Osa. People ain't doing DNA. DNA. Most niggas don't even got no fucking passport. Right, so you have to have the conversation first about the stereotypes, and you then maybe you can then you can build a solution. Do we need to do a DNA? Because all these woke people will get oh, up here and say we was born. You said DNA. That's why I said DNA. Let me add to what Osa is saying real quick. So I think my I think my parents got it right because when he's saying like we're the same people, yeah, people can try to make delineations, 
But what he's really saying is when my parents told me these things, they could clearly see that there, there is no difference among African people of the diaspora, whatever. We do carry um, a lot of the same. These things are, are in our DNA, literally the mannerisms that you're not even aware of are in your DNA. You know how black people be like, nah, it ain't shit. My dad be like, it's the same shit. And nobody it's the same thing, those same things. And nobody even knows that. He's Nigerian and Americans be doing the same thing. So that's in our blood. It's in our DNA. But my parents always related it back when they were telling me to stay away from certain black Americans. They related it back to the family. They were always hyper aware of when a man was not present in the home. So they didn't do it to degrade the person's character. They said it where, when a man is not present, bad things happen. Right. You can't hang with this person. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this person was raised. And I think they got it right when they did that. Because th that's something that we can see clearly with our eyes that this person has different habits from me. And, and if, if I'm if I'm going to be on a straight and narrow. So that's something that we can clearly see. That's something we can actually fix. Right. It, it's nothing inherently wrong with black American people. It's not like you got to screw loose somewhere. All of this shit can be fixed. Go ahead, Al. All right, I want to address three things real quick before we move on. CT and uh, what's his name? Illa, 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 Illa. All right, I want to, I ain't want to move too far from, from y'all little uh, this head but y'all here early. Uh, CT, big fan, I've been watching you on the channel, whatever you funny as hell, but uh, got a question. Um, what is the universal? European language. You said that in y'all look heads up. You said something about a universal yeah like uh English. English. It's language not front. language front. It's not. It's it's multiple languages in, in, in Europe. Okay. English is a language front. No, just just let him English, no let him let him finish. Let him finish. <laughs> English is English is a worldwide universal language not a european universal language you said that earlier so i'll, I'll just make sure i'll okay anyway all right thank you for correcting me all right illa uh and like from from a guy again i'm a mud blood but i was raised in the african home so is 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 actually is is fun and funny to see like when i uh watch um brothers from from america like try to tap into our culture and our history or whatever i was watching you two go back and forth or whatever and and from my perspective i didn't see either one of you making any like any stronger point than the other so i want to ask you where do you get your information because you you were saying something you made a, a, a comment about like check the history or check the uh whatever so where do you get your your uh data from or where where do you get your information from as far as the mores and all this stuff you speaking on many books just like when you go to college they give you a they give you like a list of like literature to look up things so i have three books right here because i don't like to just talk shit here's one book mm -hmm. you can read for yourself Did you see this everybody destruction of black civilization by chancellor williams this is one book a lot of people just be running their fucking mouth Here's another book. It's called The Dogs of God by James Reston. The Columbus, The Inquisition, and The Defeat of the Moors. That's two books. Here's another book. The Iceman Inheritance, Prehistoric Sources of Western Man's <laughs> Racism, Sexism, and Aggression. So when I open my mouth and say something, ain't just because I Google some shit, ain't just because I'm just, I'm just anti my people. I'm coming from a perspective of verified scholarship and i read other books because everybody doesn't have everything correct so i read i cross reference it's based on experience it's based on just my own discernment but it's rooted in truth there's other dude I, I didn't hear any any references i just heard a lot of colloquialisms a lot of assumptions you know just some you know because my thing is I don't, I don't feel like i have all the answers that's why i'm always pointing people to read because if, I, if i'm just telling you this and telling you that that's ego if I'm giving you my sources, that opens the door for not only for you to learn, but for me to be corrected. So I know a lot of people be like, oh, it'll be tripping, it'll be correct. It just, 
it's not really from the hood for real. I know what it's like to not have. I know what it's like to to, to have to deal with that. And I know what and I know people, I know the other side when you finally get it together. When I just hear black people get online and not just talk about, you know, the race issues as far as Africans. Just when they just view so much ignorance and so much hate for black men and black women, it's just tiring because it's like we wasn't always at this point. You go back just 60, 50 years ago, we had a whole different type of vibration within our community. And the fact that people just totally throw away all of history, all the things that happened to us just because somebody black teased them when they was little or they some black woman curved them. Now they just hate everybody. everybody every race on the planet venerates their history. They never talk about, they're always talking about the past. They're always waving their flags. They're always trying to remind you of where they come from. So the whole world is based on an acknowledgement of history. Come on, Ham. Come on, Ham. No, because the whole world is always. You got to end it because it, it, it'll, be, it'll get redundant to a point. All right, so, uh, well, all right. Y'all got, got it. Scholarship. Right, you, ain't got, if you, if you ain't got no scholarship. If you ain't got no direction to point me in, I don't give a fuck what you got to talk about. I just gave y'all three right. books, not got more. So my last question to you, uh, all those books you just showed me, how many Africans wrote those books? I mean, it's black people that wrote them, it's white people that wrote them. I think to be do not no disrespect, but I feel like that's irrelevant. Because if I that's like right now, it, I'm gonna tell you why. If a it's white a person reason. told you, if a white person told you that Malcolm X died the date he died, does it matter? Only thing that matters is if that's what happened. I don't feel like who tells it, it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's about you're going to get the truth from all. I'm not racist. When That's what I'm saying. It's not about race. I don't care who wrote the book. I, I'll read from a white person. I'll read from... That's ignorant as hell. Like, anybody can tell you the truth. Anybody can lie to you, too. So, knowledge is knowledge. You go to a, you go to a college university, you go to a university, you're going to have books written by all types of people. You study right, so in look, IT. Look, look, I don't, I don't disagree with what you're saying. I, I'm not going to say I disagree with what you're saying. The only point I'm going to make is... That at the end of the day, these books were were written by people who weren't there. That's the my point. That's and, my I, point. and I'm sorry, bro, but I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. I, I get okay, it. and I'm gonna just say I this. I'm gonna leave it at that. I I'm gonna say that. I, I respect. From. I respect your view, but I'm this is my rebuttal to that because I heard that this this one of the typical black Negro responses. We make all the excuses in the world because we don't want to read. You don't know what's in the you don't know what's in the book, so. Just because it's in a book don't mean it's a lie. You just have to be intellectually. I didn't say that. Hold on, brother. You just have to be intellectually patient and cross-reference. You read one book, you don't have all the answers. You read one, you read another one, you read another one. You cross-reference. You see what's accurate. You see what's not so accurate. It's called proofreading. Like, we make all the excuses in the world because we don't want to fucking read. Like, I'm not one of them niggas. I'm going to read. So I don't. If you miss some bullshit, you'll find out. You see what's consistent. You see, you, you read from different. That's not a history book. You can read from different scholars, and you'll get a, a synopsis of what you need to learn. None of them books I, I are history you. books. None of those books are history books. Yeah. But when you I go to college, you. I don't ask the professor that shit. I don't yeah, ask him, hey, I, I who do. wrote this book? Y'all read that shit. Y'all pass. Y'all passing them essays, and you get your little mortar board. No, no, no. I, oh, I went to college and I didn't ask those questions. So, yeah. All right. We'll, we'll move on. I, I got the bro. I got the bro. I got the now, now here, right. this is this is why, Ayo, hey, that, that was a good dialogue. Now, here's why also I pushed back initially on what Osa and Trigger Mike are saying because it's bullshit. Ayo hey, just said, and he didn't mean it maliciously. He's like, when black people try to look into our history, he made a clear delineation. And then when Illa was talking, when Illa said black people and white people wrote the book, Ao said, "See, it wasn't no Africans." So don't act like everybody believes that. The overwhelming majority know that we aren't the same. So let's have right. the conversation. Unwoke. Right. Same Real question. Talk. We had a we had a brief dialogue. Right. What are the sentiments that you hear that you heard, what you agree with, etc.? Should I I work with them, man? I <laughs> lazy. Can't show up to work on time. No work ethic. Uh, and this is black Americans. I mean, they <laughs> they don't try to hide it. <laughs> they um, they definitely they definitely draw the line in the sand. They they don't they don't they don't even want to associate with black Americans. 
this is just, this is just the 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 group of Africans that I work with, what they relate to me, and that they don't even consider themselves quote unquote FBA foundational black Americans because they they have a different uh cultural uh, structure different different value system i suppose um but yeah i mean <laughs> I, I i don't know why i don't know why we trying to like <sighs> i just think uh i think black people need to just we just need to accept the fact we need black americans need to accept the fact that we this disassociation thing that we're doing right now like what illa is talking about um i think that shit is just I don't see no purpose in it. I don't see I, like if I could, Ella, if I could just ask you, like, what is the what is the purpose in knowing this information? Like, just knowing your history, like, what is all? What is that? Can I how's that, that beneficial? Yeah, if you don't mind, man. That's one of the dumbest statements I've ever heard in my life. I don't know why in the world. When I mean, without back, being condescending, bro, if you can answer that question. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying that. Ella, answer, answer how you answer. answer. I'm gonna answer. Answer. Thank you. I'm gonna answer how I answer. <laughs> Then, whoa, you can in your questions in, in your questions shows the problem with these or our people we just are lazy we emotional and we don't have the fortitude to learn shit so since we don't have to feel the fortitude to learn it we don't see why you want to learn it what what culture on the planet don't care about their history name me one culture on the planet that doesn't venerate their history and always tells you anytime. What name? Just give me one culture who don't give a fuck about the history. Black American. No, I don't. I don't think there's. I don't think there's nothing wrong with understanding your history. I don't think there's nothing wrong with understanding your history, but if you where don't we know are right. You know what you're doing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like where we are right now in the context of of America, where do we fall in history? Well, since you got a lot of questions, let me let me let me read from scholarship because I don't like to talk from my mind. I, I'm not one of these parrots. Well, see, why is that so emotional? Why why can't I read out of why I can't I read an excerpt of the book? See how y'all look all them African niggas. All them African niggas just got emotional. You saw them? all them African niggas just got emotional. The nigga said he gonna read a paragraph out of book. Go ahead, go ahead. Read, 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 Ella, read it, read it, Ella. Go ahead, read it. Read it, read it. once, but when I'm about to refer to actual information, niggas get emotional. So I'm gonna read an excerpt because he just said. Read. Why he said what basically he's trying to figure out why does what what does history got to do with today? That's basically you got what you asked me, right? Um, what, what does learning the past got to no. do with today? That's what you're trying to figure out. No, no, no. I'm just talking about how does disassociating yourself from America, where you are today. Ooh, but whoever, but that's my ask, whoever disassociate themselves from America. Well, when Hamp initially asked the question, uh, where are you from? I think you said I said Morris, Morris American. Right. I'm American. Just like if somebody's from Chinese, they'll be a Chinese American. If you're from Nigeria, you'll be a Nigerian American. So I never dissociate myself from America. Y'all just don't be knowing what I'm talking Check, about because y'all don't read and shit. But I'm going to read something out this excerpt real quick to show you why history, more specifically our history, is very pertinent and learning it is very imper- pertinent to the American experience see when i study history i don't just study stuff to say sound like i just know everything i'm not trying to sound like i'm some deep egyptian i study history that's relevant to the social dynamic of today so the reason why i study history so i can know how we got to the point we at now because you're not going to figure out today from some some umar johnson lecture or from kevin samuels or from any of these panels you're not going to learn about today you're going to have to sit your ass down get out your brain and read something and get outside your intellectual comfort zone. And a lot right, of go ahead, go ahead, read your, 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 your what you was gonna read. Right? Yeah, man, okay. you prefaced it. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. And I know, I'm, hopefully, you can read it for yourself too, because I don't like just talking for nothing. Now, y'all can find it out for yourself, because I don't have all the answers. That's why I seek out information. So this book is talking about how the Moorish conflict between the Christians and the Muslims created the social dynamic we in today politically so according to the book well let me find my page all right get the likes up we don't know about history right so listen 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 he said in fact it is little appreciated especially by americans we in america right we in america right 
He said, it's an, in fact, it is little appreciated, especially by Americans, how intimately the discovery of the new world is bound up with the victory of Christianity over Islam in the so-called Spanish Reconquest, with the expulsion of Spanish Jews, the terrible Spanish Inquisition, Inquisition and the, papis, the papacy of the Borgia Pope. In this book, I have tried to make those links. It is one of the most enduring ironies of this period that the barbaric medieval institution of the Spanish Inquisition contributed to greatly to the founding of the, na the first nation state. Now listen, this way it gets good. It has been suggested that the three most important years in American history are 1492. Does anybody know what happened in 1492? Yeah, we sailed the ocean blue. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That ain't just what happened. He sailed it from somewhere else. That's when the Moors fell from Spain and Ferdinand and Isabella took over. And then that's when the Moors fell out of Spain. That's what happened in 1492. But that happened in Spain. But he said that's the most important year in American history. So listen, he said it has been suggested that the three most important years in American history are 1492, 1776, and 1865. Now we know 1776, independence of America, 1865, the Civil War. He said of these three, End of the Civil War. Oh, he said, of these three, 1492 goes far beyond American history. It is pivotal as well in Spanish history, in Jewish history, in Arab history, in world and church history. Indeed, it is difficult to imagine another single year in the past millennium when so many significant strands of history came together and so changed the world in one swoop. The completion of the 500 year movement to conquer the Moors, the end of the 800 year reign of glorious culture of, Islam of Islamic Spain, the consolidation of the modern Spanish state, the sinister explosion of the Spanish Inquisition, the Spanish Renaissance in art and literature, the expulsion of the Jews, the discovery of the new world and the subsequent division between right. of, of the world between Spanish and Portuguese spheres of influence. So when people say dumb shit as if black people didn't do nothing, according to that one book, when black people fell out of power, the entire world changed in one moment. So that shows you there is some significance to knowing what happened back then because it'll give you a bigger picture of how we got here today. But I don't right, how, yeah, but what did they do when they was in power? Though? Like, come on, man. How do you I know that you are the, the descendant of the Moors? That's not the argument, right? He no, no, no. He, he, said, he, he said he's a Moorish. He said he's a Moorish. I know, but you know unwoke, unwoke, unwoke. Listen, listen. Unwoke asked it, why does it matter? Right? So he answered with saying, they said that the fall of the Moors was most significant one of the most significant times in american or in history period in 1492 that's why the history matters and know where you come from to understand the type of people you come from right you're not just a downtrodden enslaved people that's what he was trying to articulate the unwoke unwoke did you want to did you want to respond i just think that further validates this whole bullshit ass oppressive narrative i just i mean i, I <laughs> so you're saying I that just, niggas ain't lazy no 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 yeah, I'm hey. saying, I'm saying, niggas have a choice. That's all I'm saying. You have a choice. You have that's that's what this whole country is predicated on. You have the free choice to fuck your life up or choose to do something with your life. That's what the founding principles is on. It's an idea. Yeah, Not, I, I, okay, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. That's a good point. I agree with that. But at the same time, when we get to this um African shit. The lazy motherfuckers, drug addicts, drug addicts, whores, all these motherfuckers that don't accomplish nothing back in Africa, they don't get a chance to come across this water to sit in y'all face morning, noon, and night. They don't. Y'all motherfuckers go through leaping bounds, through hell and high water, through death and everything else just to get that motherfucking green card to come over here and get the same benefits that I got over here that I was born with. So, yes, you may be of higher level than what's back home, but when you come over here, you're just a regular average black motherfucker over here with me, too. You ain't no fucking better. Yep. <laughs> but look, hell, hell. Let me, Can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I just want to ask you a question because you brought the glorious me, thing. I just want to yeah, answer okay, that. Go ahead. Because regardless of what, I got love for everybody on this panel. I might not agree with anybody's goofy ass sentiments, but I don't hate nobody up here because I see we all, I, when I see brothers, I just see an aspect of myself. What frustrates me is, I, is the love I got. I'm mad out of love. I'm not mad because I'm going to punch on somebody. I love our people. 
It makes me mad when we so frustrated with our people till we just shit on our people in front of the whole world as if that don't matter. That's not cool. If you think knocking your people is cool, you think that makes you fit in, you're a fucking fool. And it's people like you that has been used to get our people to the situation that they're in right now. Who are you so referring they to? The dumbass nigga to, to pull with and to play with. Who are you with. referring to? I'm talking to anybody. Anybody in this place. You, in, said, in you. you said you. Who is you? No, I'm not talking about you, bro. I'm just saying. You ain't saying nothing. No, I'm saying who are you referring to? I said thoughts. Anybody who you got a thought. You. That, <laughs> Who you am I referring you. to? You saying who am I referring to? As far as yes. I mean, it depends on the topic. I, you know, chaotic said a lot of shit that was very crazy as fuck. You didn't to me. You didn't say nothing crazy. You just you just speaking from a, a no disrespect. You just speaking from a, a place of, of ignorance. You, you, just, you just don't know, and that's fine because if you don't know something, that don't make that don't mean you dumb. Not knowing what something just means you don't about. know. <laughs> bro, I'm trying to explain to you, bro. Like, am I talking Spanish? <laughs> See, that's what, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, niggas are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You asked about Moors, right? So the word Moors... No, 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 no. That's not what I asked you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So let me let me reiterate my question, all right? You said... Okay. Let's, hold on. Let's reverse. Go ahead. You said earlier, you said that you are a, a more American. And I asked you, how do you know that you are the descendant of a Moor? How do you I'm, know that? I'm about to tell you. Just say it. Like, you. all this other stuff, like, oh, it's so okay. extra, bro. Oh, let him I'm not it. extra, bro. It's called elaborating. I, I don't. I know a lot of us got these microwave minds, but sometimes you have to elaborate to get your point. I'm sorry that I talk like this. I'm not. I'm not a microwave. Bro, I told person. you where I'm from within 30 seconds. Why can't you tell me where you're from? I told you where I'm I from. I told you where I'm from. Like I this. said I'm from America. Why can't you I'm tell from me where Jersey. you're from? Bro, you just asked me how do I know I'm a more right? Just, just tell me. I, I will tell you, but can you okay, listen? All right. The word more just describes a dark skinned person. That's why if you talk to people that's Spanish, if you was dark skinned and you're Spanish, they don't call you Negro. They call black Americans Negro because we call ourselves that. But if you was Puerto Rican or Dominican, okay. they would call you what? Moreno. Because that's an ancient word to describe a person of color. They removed that word and started calling you black. That's why even in West Africa, once upon a time, it was called what? Mauritania. So the word more, Mari, Mori, Mary, has always been a word to describe people of color, regardless of where they are in the world. For example, I can be from Japan. I can be from China. I can be from Vietnamese. But collectively, we are they are what? Asian. I can be from Nigeria, I could be from Russia, I could be from Haiti, I could be from Jamaica, but collectively we are Moorish. That's why even Jamaicans, they come from, they call themselves the Maroons or the Cameroons. So it's about, the problem is brother, our people don't read. So they just wanna argue and pick apart and pick apart and pick apart because they know they are not gonna read shit. So they just gonna question the people who do claim to read, but I'm gonna tell you what to do. Go read it for yourself. Don't worry about what, what I think. You what if our people, what if black people just don't read that shit though? That's on them. What the Bible say? As for me and my house, I mean, we shall serve the Lord. You do the fuck you want to do, but I'm gonna read, and my child gonna read. I'm just not seeing. I'm just not you seeing. Ain't gotta see it. it ain't very to see. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I appreciate you. I'm, I'm not, listen, you I appreciate. It. I listen, man. I listen to what you said, man. I'm just saying, I'm not seeing how that has any bearing on black americans today like i, I get it for that, so for that more, own just means black. more just means black just, that's what it means no more means more like what well, i mean it, you didn't he, say he defined you didn't it. Word word it. Salad, all right let's not let's not go back more all right all right more is dark it's dark skinned people that look like us so where are you from then like so he's from Jersey. He's, he's American. All right, all right, y'all niggas ain't y'all niggas ain't li now. Now I'm I'm getting confused now, right? So he said more. Okay, more is is how you define a dark skinned person. Okay, right. That's why he grouped Haiti. You could be from Russia if you're a dark skin coming with this melanin complexion. You're Moorish, right? So he doesn't use the term black. He uses the terms more, right? The that's, that's what he's saying. It's that's, that's it okay. That ain't some manics, nigga. You just got up on this panel and talked about three different tribes with y'all three niggas up there. All y'all jigger foots to me, nigga. If we're gonna go like that, nigga, speak English. 
Niggas just don't understand. Let me 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 let let me reset this right quick. Oh, Reeks with the two dollars. Hemp Caribbean people exist. Why is it FBA versus African? You can't get everybody. They African. This one. You see this this shit. We could barely get somewhere. Truth, truth, and reality. Red Pill Ranger with the two dollars. Four hundred students just got kidnapped in Nigeria. To with the two dollars. With the Ebo is classism, not race or ethnicity. Thank you, Reese Anderson with the five dollars. I'm an African mutt. I got DNA matches who are Ebo, Yoruba, Fulani, Ghana. Ghana and I got Scottish slash English DNA from the good old slave owner Jamaicans are worldwide. Omega Omega Green with the five dollars. They believe themselves superior yet are unable to build a sustainable power grid, sewage exactly. system, or infrastructure on on par with any first world nation. Lauren Mack with the five dollars. Let's go, Granville! Exclamation point. They playing lightweight tonight. Ariane with the five dollars. If we're gonna hold Africans accountable, we have to hold Caribbeans accountable to growing up. In New York, every black race looked down on African Americans. So solid with the five dollars. I'm behind my I'm behind my bad. I never eat I never ever 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 thought I see Illa and Chaotic on the same panel. <laughs> this shit is epic and hilarious. Good job, Hamp. Salute. Ariane with the ten dollars. Africans aren't the only ones. Caribbeans Caribbeans do it, do it, do it too. It's because they have a language and culture and moral code. Even if it's wrong, we are looked at as less because the things I list come from white men. Damn. Uncle Rico was popping with the 10 ounces. So why all the critique for black Americans, but zero critique for the white Americans? Why not critique all, all or do they white worship? We or do they white worship here like they do where they come from? Well, it's oh, a topic of discussion. Talking so that's what we're talking about. The hood Haitian with the five ounces. Every culture has has a nigga class. Black Americans do a horrible job separating themselves. The class system slash mindset is real from morals to economics. Bob with the five ounces. Black Americans and Africans are just as different as whites with German ancestry and modern day German. <laughs> 20 ball says Africans do not view African Americans as equal. In their eyes, we are bastards and weak for being captured and sold by our African ancestors. The only time that we are not rejected is when they are willing to accept american money ranger with the five dollars says ask ask these africans how to how they got to america and got rights who stood up up got beat died for them to get here ask them that shit. yeah i think my dad just took a boat i don't know if he did all that other shit. just jim's with the ten says so gway stopped being with quote unquote those other girls as ask her is that when she went to live with the guy black white or african who put her out after using her for 13 years? What makes her better? Reese Anderson with the two dollars. Crip, you want to respond to this? Go ahead. What's that? Oh, you want to listen? No, no. Reese with the two dollars. You gonna go? Reese with the two dollars. Caribbean and FBA have European DNA, kind of different. John Henry with the five dollars. Trigger Mike. That is not our DNA. It's behavior, part of our culture. Bob with the five dollars trigger drop a black American in Africa. He would swim faster back to the USA than a speedboat slave ship. We are two different people. Bob with the five dollars hemp landing the airplane is Western civilization. Perhaps you should use signing the bail bond or pick the last banana. That's crazy. Just Jim with, just gems with the ten ounces. If the, if the non-black men are married, what nationality are they married to? If black American if black american women why not our, your own did you need a way to citizenship or a sense of belonging a way to be a part great what does that mean i don't know what it is just gems with the two dollars mike and tommy said quote unquote we have more money than whites to yeah, un- untitled yeah, with the two dollars more money than white people what the fuck? chaotic chaotic know. truth is a nigerian tether cause playing fba arian with the two dollars says let's see how smart black people are what does nigga mean? Reese Anderson with the five dollars says, uh, there was always beef between Caribbeans and Africans in the UK. My dad tells me stories about how my grandfather hated Africans when he came from Jamaica. Omega Green with the five dollars says, Hamp, please be more selective of what FBA representatives join the panel discussion like this. These guys severely lack the ability to convey a point. Shut up. T.O. with the five dollars says, FBA was made up recently by black Americans to exclude Africans and other black foreigners. So how is that on Africans? Unwoke, LOL. Just Jim with the two dollars. Villa, Villa is the best. Oh, Illa is the best. Enjoy him on the other show too. 
EBD with the philosophy of America as it is today is in the context of changing an entire system of slavery throughout through a history of blood rebellions and laws by the action of us men. Reese Anderton with the two thousand Columbus discovered the Caribbean, not the USA. Nav with the five thousand ten. We can't allow this. Moorish American with a lacrosse hat on. Fuck we doing. Ariane with the five dollars. The yeah, Arab. Like, what is that? Y'all stupid niggas. Yeah, but that's so funny because y'all just want to laugh. You don't want to read no fucking books though. Want to argue with niggas? Read the Arabs books. enslaved us before the whites did. We don't talk about that. They they taught them how to get them. Why do we pick and choose? What wars and enslavements? Right. Uncle Pops was with the five houses. Great show. I'm FBA, but all of us need Nigerian parents. We run the world. Ariane with the two houses, and we accept Islam just like we do Christianity. Dark Lake with the two houses. Good job, Illa. To with the five houses, the Africans are supposedly delineate delineating, but the other side have been doing it the whole time with a stronger sentiment with no acknowledgement. See, this pals with the five houses. Hemp. Illa is on fucking fire. I hope people really understand the knowledge he is providing to us today. Damn, salute and keep holding the line. Gregory with, Gregory with the 10 ounces. Where is Stokely Carmichael, Dick Tiger, and Roy Enos when we need them? Great Caribbean and Nigerian individuals that play key roles in the American black civil rights movement and sports. Bloody tie with the $2 salute. <laughs> Sun Kiss, Shalom. All right, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Hmm. Anybody? Hey, can I just say this real quick, Ham? Go um, ahead, and then we'll get Mandrell in. Just... We, we, as you can see, we are all over the place. This one thing, that, that one thing, this, this one thing, like that, this one thing, like that. Because we're dealing with a di uh, uh, a dissected, we tr we're trying to understand something that's been broken apart. That's why it's called a diaspora. They sent you over here. They sent me over here. They, they, they broke us up. The only way you can put these pieces together is through a knowledge of history. Are you going to get everything right? No. But they have dissected our people. You can only learn that through study. Even the school is that? Study the... Bro, don't worry about it. I'm talking to people. The, the scriptures say study to show thyself approved. You know what I'm saying? And we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So the fact that a person is questioning learning already tells you where their mind is at. If you don't feel the need to learn where you are, don't worry about it. Just stay where you at. Go grill and watch football or some dumb shit. Football is great. Yeah, can can I answer that? I like um, MMA. I don't, I don't watch football. <laughs> Grilling is Man, great too. Mandrell, what's popping? You've been you've been silent. Is there anything okay. you want to address thus far? I barely got through the line of question in terms of understanding the stereotypes, right? Like literally when they were talking about the history and who cares, right? Mm -hmm. Osa said, who doesn't care about history? He unmuted to say black Americans. He after, did. After right. talking all that woke shit about how we all the same. Go ahead, Mandro. <laughs> we're not the same. Let's just not pretend like we are. Okay, we come from two different lands, and too much time has passed. Africans have had, I mean, countless millennia to uh, start a culture, cultivate culture, be in that culture, make changes and adjustments and all that other kind of stuff. Americans, uh, we have been here not very long. And if you're talking about Black Americans, we haven't had time to create a culture. Most of the things that we take part in, including the food we eat, was given to us. Culture is something you make on your own. We haven't made shit except like music, which is what hip hop and and Negro spirituals. And the stop. That's light. about it. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, but jazz. How about the stop light? How about the stop light? Who gets credit for that? What about the stop that's light? Not, yeah, that, that's that's something one guy did. That's not something only one person made in the It's not culture. It's what not do you mean? culture. How about peanut butter? Okay, peanut butter now, now here's the thing. No. Peanut butter, uh, peanut butter, you culture. can argue. Peanut oh butter. My God. Are you nothing. not listening? Are you, are, look, are you well, not listening? Well, 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 think about this. Well, think about this. You said you said a thing, right? It's not culture. So now, so now, well, what do you mean? You, but creation of things, right? Is creation of things a part of a culture or no? No. Okay, so, so the creation of jazz, we, we so we, the creation of jazz and hip hop. Is is culture, but the creation of and the invention of things of that 
don't no, no, don't no, no, don't no, no, don't no, speak the, to the yeah. culture. The thing is, not everybody is gonna take a peanut and do what George Washington Carver did. Not neither everyone's gonna they, do that. Neither can they rap well, like Nas. Right, right. But, but, they, but here's the thing. there's a lot of people who can rap and really good at it. I'm not one of them people, but there's a lot of people who can take part in that and enjoy it and things like that. You know what I'm talking about with culture, like the food. We eat shit food, but we we claim that it's part of American a uh, black American culture. You know what I'm saying? Now you can give us credit for the inventions, of course, yeah. the stoplight, of course, all the things with the, with, with the peanut. Okay, fair enough. I'm not talking to me. Those are some things that a couple of people did, as great as they are. Okay, but if you, but is that black culture the yeah, stoplight gonna... itself? Granville, Granville, like, hold on, like, hold on, yo, yo. So that. Mandrell, here's the thing. When chaotic mute, mute unmutes to tell you about white culture, he's gonna mm-hmm. say they built skyscrapers, they created the internet, they did X, Y, and Z. Right? That's how that's we value. That's, just, that's, that's how we value civilization. But but that's how we value what people have created, what they've done, what they've been able to sustain. <laughs> art, like entertainment, all of that goes into a person's culture. So don't discount it for niggas now. Okay. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. I will grant you that, even though I just see that as. The gradual oh, so civilization, it's not really culture though. <laughs> um, but my thing is, bottom line is, the, the the Africans who have an issue with Black Americans, they have no frame of reference. It comes from a place of ignorance, like really, really ignorant stuff. You know, they just don't know what Black Americans went through um, to make America what it is today, and so they can enjoy the. Liberties and things they can enjoy. They don't know what it took to do that. And they don't know what black Americans still to this day deal with because of what we went through <laughs> to, to, to get these things. For example, it took an inc- America is the greatest accomplishment in, in, in uh, civil engineering known to man. It is like the amount of brainwashing that went into it to make America what it is today is absolutely incredible. You will have no, you people have no clue how much of your life is engineered, even to this day. So, seriously, let me, let me so push back my thing you. is, no, there's no pushback to this, Mike. Yeah, I you got guys don't, here's the I thing. Of course, the Africans do. You just no, no, no. Let me, let me, let me ask you, just you, don't know. Let me ask you just real quick, Aunt Mandro. Mm-hmm. How much of your experience is different from my experience? Uh, let, let, let's just, let's just say this without me talking, without me declaring my lineage or where my mother and father were from exactly. if a cop pulls me over and they pull you over mm-hmm. at the same exact time do they know that i'm nigerian and you're a, a black american of course not okay so that, but here's that, the thing did you not listen to did you not listen to, the, you not li- listen to what i said though i said the ones who have a problem with us yes, it, I, their problems said, with though. the black americans come from a place of ignorance they see the ones that, you, you know the, one, the ones that say well black people are just lazy they're just falling for propaganda just like anyone from any other race they don't realize that they're just falling they're just wait, falling to what? like everybody else can i, I ask you because you know, the black people i know the black people I, 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 I hang out with they're not lazy yeah. right but that's your, limited, that's your limited scope like of what you see though you don't think there's any credence to that stereotype to what black people are lazy Dude, Americans are lazy. It ain't just black people. Right. Okay. No, 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 no. So the same no, black no, no, people no. are lazy is oh, a wait, 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 wait. Hey, okay. y'all niggas, y'all niggas is fucking stuck at content, bro. <laughs> We're not talking about everybody. He asked a specific Thank question, you. answer that question specifically, and everybody don't gotta jump in every time there's a little bit of a hole if you're not even adding to what the two people are talking about. So okay, uncle, so ask, ask your question. question. Let's get a question, let's get an answer from Mandrell. Do I think that I black said, people are lazy? No. Yeah, you out of your mind? Look how many black. Look how much hustling black people do. That ain't lazy. I'm sorry, it ain't. That's not lazy by no stretch of the imagination. It's not. Do you have um, a reply? Hey, um, I'm woke. Go ahead. Uh, I, I I do have a reply, but I'm I don't want to speak from my own perspective. I. Yeah, I don't want to speak from my from what I see, but um, 
I, I think generally, I mean, as we look at the stats, you know, 64% of black Americans, well, black men are in the, in the middle class, as we know. Um, so I would have to say, the, yeah, the vast majority of black men, at least, and 72% of black uh, women are in the workforce. We know that. But I would say that as far as putting forth the effort beyond that, beyond working, it's, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What just, effort are you talking about beyond working? And what are you talking about? That, hold on, hold on. Hold on, no, no, bro. Don't do don't do that, man, Jar. This is the funny part, bro. Is that these niggas up on this panel talking this Trump shit, son? Y'all talking Trump change right now. Y'all niggas come over here with y'all families, and I'm gonna say this again. Y'all be the best of the best that come over here. If we go back to where you fucking came from with your huts and shit, my nigga, y'all dealing with an alcohol fucking epidemic. Y'all dealing with a fucking drug named Bron Clear. You know what Bron Clear is, my nigga? It's called that fucking Earl out there in Houston, nigga. Y'all niggas be up there drugged up, drunk, having illegitimate children. Y'all fucking downright disgusting. The reason why we don't see it like this is because y'all ain't got no built up society enough to put it on social media. But thank God we got people like Vice and other networks like that that go over there and show you the epidemic that's actually going on in Africa in y'all main cities that y'all Trump all about. But on the outskirts, it looks like a desert wasteland for the fucking addicts, drunks, whores, and everything. Let's keep it a fucking bean. Y'all talking about niggas over here. Y'all talking about the average nigga over here in America. The average nigga over here in America will be a fucking king where your fucking tribes come from, nigga. Let's keep it a fucking bean. If you took the average nigga from Africa right now, you put him in there over here, the nigga gonna die. He can't make it, nigga. Um, and it's a fucking bro, fact. Bro, you mapping the Wait, wait, Gway was waiting patiently. Nigga, fuck out of here. Let's go. Let's See what you got to nigga. Yeah, uh, you made your point. Gway, go ahead. And then Illa, do you still want to ask Mandrell a question? And then trigger Mike. Yeah. yeah I, I just um well, well go ahead. Let Gway go and then you can ask him right after. Yeah, yeah. And then trigger, you can jump in. It yeah. seems to be like the conversation is only one way what Africans how Africans feel about African Americans. Uh the Glanville, is that his name? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. He was talking, yeah, you know, Glenville was saying a lot of disparaging things about Africa as a whole. In like, he talked about like it's a whole, uh, the whole continent. Instead yeah, of I, I tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I take it as a whole. I'm gonna tell you why I take it as a whole, nigga. Because when you talk shit, nigga, you're gonna go under the bridge. I'm gonna dig up under that bitch every time because I ain't gonna stand for it, nigga. Content, it ain't creating content, my nigga. You, you just you don't just know me, nigga. Content. I go at everybody. I position on anybody. You better hey, ask anybody that's hey, yo, me up here. Go ahead, that. Bill. Answer, answer. Go ahead. Respond to Gwade and Gwade. Okay. You can jump back and he said what he said. All right. What I'm saying is when he started disparaging Africans, Mandro were laughing. So you cool with a disparagement against Africans. They call us things. We 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 live in huts. We don't wear clothes. We don't do all this stuff. So it's okay for y'all to insult Africans. But when Africans say something back or fight back, then it's oh they think they're better than us. Which one is it? If you're gonna do nah. shit, then you got to be able to take so, it. So this what I'm gonna tell. This what I'm gonna make sure she finishes. All right, my bad, my bad. All right. you understand the logic where you feel like it's okay for you to talk disparaging about africans and we should just sit back and be like oh yeah that's true you know because i guess we're supposed to be beneath you guys but for some reason when we defend ourselves or come back at y'all with disparaging comments all of a sudden you feel some type of way so it, it means you, you gotta be consistent y'all don't like I am, so let, let not oh, say, except to say you guys like us because you don't so I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to keep it a bean. Trigger Mike know who I am. Trigger Mike has seen me around here for years now. I keep the same smoke for everybody. You talk shit, nigga, talk your shit, but I'm going to be better. It is what it is, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Keep your fucking mouth closed because you're going to you tell failed. me something. You failed. You failed. You failed. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, nigga, you failed in your country. That's why your parents came over here, nigga. Damn. Ella, go ahead and ask your question to Mandro. Um... Damn, there was so much said. Like, I, this this is really like, for one, I, I had to respond to Gua real quick. Like, first of all, you just said earlier how we emotional. You're going to forego the question, know, though. You know, huh? You're going to forego asking the question, though, because I got to get Trigger Mike. I mean, all right, I, all right, I'll just stick to the question. Man, right. It's more like a, a, a observation. It's like, man, Drell, on one hand, you're saying that, you know, 
black Africans have these preconceived notions about black people, but at the same time, you kind of kicking the same people down yourself. Like you just, can you started your whole soliloquy saying that, oh, they don't eat right, our people is fucked up. And then when, when they got, when you got pushed back from the African, and all of a sudden we're not victims. So it's like, which one is it? Like they asked you about the inventions and you only named two things. Like we, named, we, we invented thousands of things over here. So it's like, you, you're people like you and the way your sentiment is, is why they look at us like that. Cause you can't kick us down in one statement and then pull well, us back up at the next. It's like, it just sound like you on all over. It just sound well, like you all over. I can be well, wrong. Here's the thing. It just I like can you. say, and not, yeah, yeah, it's just, I didn't mention. I, I was respond, when it comes to the inventions. I was responding to Hemp because Hemp mentioned two inventions: the things that, that George Washington Carver did with the peanut and the stoplight. I was giving us credit for that, but I was trying to um, parse out and s separate the two. Like I don't think that one black person's accomplishment is a part of black culture. I think that's just one black person's accomplishment. That's what, I was, that's, that's, that's what I was person. trying to say. Uh -huh, sure. That's what I was trying to say. And I'm just saying. I'm not saying I was right or wrong. I'm not saying I was right or wrong. I'm just okay. trying to get you to understand what I was trying to say and where I was coming from, because it sounds like you missed some of the things, some of the meaning behind what I was saying, and that's probably my fault. I probably didn't do okay, a good job of explaining. Just to you know be, what I'm that, just to be clear, Mandra, I just named two. I can name a million, right? right? But a culmination yeah, of things is people's accomplishments, those people, their relation to one another, the family, etc. That creates a culture. So don't we just can't leave out that. I mean, if, if if that's the way you take it, cool. Pause. I'm just always looking at ways we can be better. We accomplish something. I'm just uh, maybe that's maybe that's a character flaw. I'm looking at okay, I accomplished this. Good. That's behind me. On to the next thing. I accomplished that. Good. That's behind me. On to the next thing. But, but man, Drell, can I say this real quick? If uh -huh. you create something that's very significant, it's not necessarily behind you if it's still contributing to people today. So a lot of the inventions okay. we made, yeah, they may be in the past, but they're still relevant to society today. Regardless of how old the computer is, is the computer still relevant? Yes, some inventions transcend time and they're always going to be relevant. So black people created just about everything that are pillars of civilized civilized society, so you can't just throw that under the bus. Like, very significant. Okay, fair enough. And as far as me dragging us down, I was just talking about culture. I was talking about how the difference is Africans come over here with an established culture, whereas we ourselves have not established one. So they see that difference, and I think that that's a part. I was just saying that that's a part of what causes them to look at us and with the side of like, hey. Y'all don't know uh, this whole family yeah, shit. Y'all don't play the same thing we do because we come over here with these these things here and y'all kind of everywhere. So let's just stay away from that. So uh, th I was just trying to say, on the one hand, while I do understand it, you ain't got to be nasty about it. Just right, it, so. it, 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 the thing is, it comes from a place of ignorance because y'all don't, they don't put the yeah. thought into it. They don't do the research into understanding why black Americans are the way they are today. There's a lot that went into it. It ain't that black Americans are this way because they want to be. This was actually done to black Americans. It was done to like them. Sound like you're talking about history. I never said anything uh, bad yeah. about you to do your history, bro. Well, I'm, just, I mean, yeah, I'm just saying for the panel, because everybody like, that's, 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 that's why, right that's there. My, that's my thing about it. It's like, I just don't think uh, that foreign pe people who come here from other countries, they don't read american history now granted history. right so i mean they don't mean so a lot of it comes from a place of ignorance they don't they just simply don't know all right let's I go agree. well i was trying to say let's go uh agree, and that's what that's what man uh, excuse me that's what granville was actually addressing but I, I don't know if everybody caught it because of all the stuff he put around what he was saying but if you get the people who are are, are who are successful to come over right and not the bottom of the barrel, right? You're going to assume that that's the culture when in actuality, Granville painted allegedly that the majority ain't doing shit. That's what he was saying. I wonder, maybe we can mind that point out. Go ahead, Trigger Mike. Now, I, can you, can you re elaborate on that? Him? Yeah, so he was saying like the people who going to come, come over are qualified to do so. Obviously have refugees and things of that nature, right? So those people come over touting, oh, you don't got no culture over here. But if you make your way over there, you will see the majority being bottom of the barrel without a pot to piss in or the window to throw it out of. But we don't see it because it's not 
you know, on social media, things of that nature, unless you got vice and shit like he named. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I think that was an oversimplification, bro. Right. It, it, it's an oversimplification. And it's, there were so many false statements made tonight. Talk about some black Americans don't go over there. Bro. There's a, there are complete colonies of black Americans in Tanzania, in Nigeria, in Ghana, chilling, chilling, letting their money, you know, work over there. So there, j just like anywhere, you have a, here America is known for its middle class. And it's known for rewarding. It has a free enterprise system in which anybody can come and market themselves and with a little bit of hard work and education, establish yourself. The problem with Africa is that it does not reward its smartest and best and brightest. So they go elsewhere so they can be rewarded. That's it. That's it. And, you know, I, I've, heard, I've, I've heard some things, man. And I just realized, man, we're all fucking yeah, this shit is stupid. It's, it's, we're hypocritical as fuck because the funny thing is i think people choose africans that's why i said we get scapegoated because people think we ain't gonna say shit yep. you know i have a problem with my own people we're too meek we're not militant that's why i turn myself to a cold-blooded fucking killer okay because i i, I don't want to be viewed that way all right so i got my own issues but when i come over here and people think they're just gonna you know we'll, they'll say africans don't like us but just look at the chat Look at what Mandrell said. Look at it's equal right. amount of smoke, but you expect us to be meek enough not to say shit. And that's bullshit because y'all pick and choose who y'all do this shit to. Because y'all will pick and choose who you accept as black or not, and then just call the rest of us African to separate from us. Did you know all the Caribbean half Trinidadian rappers there are? There is no hip hop without tethers. There is no hip hop. Heat rock, Buster Rhymes. Notorious B.I.G. All fucking tethers. So y'all pick and choose who y'all want to be black and then the rest of us got, just got to be African. That's tether. bullshit. What's a tether? Trigger Mike. People who are not uh, from, I guess, black people who are not from America, we are called tethers. No, no, no. Tethers are babies like like me where my, my, my parents, they lived in Nigeria in the 80s. And my mother conveniently scheduled a trip to visit her mom, uh, her sister in Atlanta. So I was born in Atlanta. So I was okay. anchor baby. So he gets, he gets, so he got citizenship because he was born here in America. But here's the thing with that: for me, honestly, as a patriot, I got no problem with that. You born in America, you're an American citizen. All right. Well, that it is what it is. Let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question in terms of like one of the stereotypes because yeah it is it is i think there's there's vitriol coming from both sides for sure um i guess we would need now to find out do you think i have for y'all who, who started it hold on a minute oh, we know we definitely yeah. know you yeah. don't like us really hold on hold I on don't. I'm just asking. Yeah. hold on man oh, y'all niggas ain't saying nothing <laughs> like you're not saying nothing stop stop for a second. now now um in terms of lazy how do you how do you how do you measure right when you say like black people are lazy as an example would it be based on like income and things of that nature like how would you measure a culture as being lazy would it be like the jobs their earning potential and etc would that be a fair way to judge it right because let's let's see what we actually talking about is that fair yes or no yeah i think that's fair right and so is hector lazy are the latinos lazy no no, and we, but we make more money than them. Well, for now, we no, yeah. no, that's yeah. the, that's that's a disingenuous They're rebuttal. That. But, but Ao, you agree that's a disingenuous rebuttal, right? Because wow. you, I'm I'm asking, you're saying that we make more money than them, yes, right? So can you still call us lazy if Hector's not lazy, right? But we had we earn more than Hector. You see what I'm saying? Like we say these things, but then Hector's not lazy, but we make more money than him. I now no, AR no, no. is is the gap closing? No, I don't. I don't. That might I don't be fair. Those, I, think those are equal. I don't think those. Okay, because you're saying they don't have a, the same amount of people. No, yes, no, they, like they have more. It's more of us. Okay. Well, I so think let's, I mean, let's let's just understand it, right? Like, so if we make more money than him, and we say how you lazy if you work and you you got earnings, right? And then Hector's not lazy, but we earn more more than them overall. But I also think that I mean it's it's uh. It's, it's an oversimplification slash false Bro. equivalency. False equivalency, they were, yeah. They're willing to do jobs that 
black, white people. Ain't, ain't even willing right. to do. Yep. Yep. Huh? Yep. They take that seven dollars and twenty five cents. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you call off the books? Paid under the table. Because they their on, paperwork you know, ain't right. They building houses in my neighborhood. Them dudes on every roof, sun up yep. to sun down. No niggas getting paid. Oh, under you're, the you're, table. you're you're speculating that their their money their money isn't documented. No, I'm not. It's not what do you mean speculating? Yeah. <laughs> so you what do you speculating, mean speculating, right? bro? Because, because because you can't prove it, right? So. Is that is that, a dis, is that a, is that a disingenuous argument too, Mike, to an extent? Because you saying we can't track their money, but you saying they still making more than us, but because we can't track it. No, I'm not mean. even saying that they're making more. Okay. What I am saying is that they do make earnings and they give those earnings back to their family, and they use those same earnings to keep their family together in the same house. I'm not disagreeing. I'm, well, I'm talking about the lazy argument, right? If we think yeah, money the is a. Lazy. If, if the month, yeah, so the argument's laziness, right? So if the money is the measuring rod, we on average make more money than them, right? But then he's not lazy. So by 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 nature of that, should we be called lazy also, that's or should we not be called lazy? That's but point. I'm also but not yeah, using like money what, as the how, how does Sorry, the amount of money, money someone make make them more less or more lazy than uh, the next person? Like, I, well, I here's the thing. Here's a, here's the thing. Now you got niggas want to be smart, right? But I asked, is this a fair way to assess laziness? And then y'all said yes. So now that we answer the question, now it's like this is not a fair. So I asked it three times and I said, okay, now let's move on with it. But now that we in it, now we're saying it's not a fair measuring rod. But I asked for clarification before I went forward. I said, no, nah, on the money. I said, no, nah, on the money. Okay. Yeah, Nigerians fucking do 419 and shit. When they get money, does that make them not lazy? Them niggas sit around robbers who are lazy, they the, the robbers just run up and, and rob people. Like, I don't know if I don't think that's a good measurement. How what do you mean? Like you just people, you just you just nodded your fucking neck off about undocumented money when they building houses. So if 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 if, if that's money is cool, then the robbing money is cool. What are you talking about? No, I'm saying money as a means you almost broke your fucking neck nodding when they talked about them niggas working illegally but now you want to go to robbery i'm saying i'm saying money isn't a good measure of laziness oh, now. yeah how much money right. how much money yeah. they hold on hold on him isn't i'm not using money as the measuring stick okay um okay. The, I, in the beginning i told y'all what my measuring stick was the same thing i always say when i'm talking about the issues going on with black america is that there's no issue that can't be traced back to fatherlessness. This same issue is traced back to fatherlessness. Yeah. All right. So when we use the word lazy, I'm not looking at a black man because it's really about the men. We're the ones who set the tone and the, it, the way that the women behave ultimately come from the what the men do and don't do and, and the um, tone that they set. All right. 70 percent of black men alive today grew up primarily with their mom. Mm -hmm. No man to instill principles, values, work ethic pass on skills remember that's the thing your dad can teach you how to be a plumber he can teach you how to do elect electrician work all that type of stuff so i think it's just that that's it there's nothing yeah. else other than they did not have the example of someone instilling them and we're seeing the results of that so today. what do you think about like i was looking at mike and you can correct this right the culture like you said the how many of those girls are getting married over there before they hit 18? Is it upwards of 80%? In uh, you talking Africa? about Africa? Nigeria, because I know Africa's a continent, right? No. no. Okay, so that number, what, what is that number speaking to? Where'd you get it Which, from? That's culture. Which number? That's culture. You guys, you, just Google it real quick, see what you think. You said Wait, do I girls getting married before 18? Yeah, they're young and they're getting married, right? And then here's another thing that that I was I was wondering about. The also the boys their age are married at like 15% or something. So what I'm what I'm what I'm I'm using deductive reasoning like it's older men getting these girls before they even hit 18, right? And and then the little boy the young boys ain't getting married at all until so they get they, older. Yeah, until that, they get oh, older too, right? Cool. No, that's culture. A lot of that's not like some that's of that. Culture. Is, that's what I'm saying. I ain't saying it. nothing about. I, all right, cool. But but I'm, let's let's assess that though, because that's different. Me, hold on, let me put it in context first before we assess. Right. So a lot of that comes from culture that's not ours. Some of that is Muslim culture. Muslim, yeah, right. Muslim people do that. I'm not Muslim. Nobody in my family got married before 18. All my cousins. Like they, 86 percent. 
Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, in the Muslim areas, I'm sure it is. In northern Nigeria. Uh, this, this one says UNICEF says in West and Central Africa, 41% of girls are married before the age of 18. Damn. Uh, that, that's in okay. Eastern and uh -oh. Southern Africa, 32% uh -oh. of young women. Are uh -oh. married before they oh, so that's actually that's that's Christian too. That's Christian yeah, too. Yeah, like, that's not... Women get married younger. So yeah. and, and in that particular, I was gonna say it's, it's apples and oranges. In those cultures, your your <laughs> child when they grow up is another mouth to feed. <laughs> so you, you gotta marry them off, saying, Hey, look, another man gotta take care of you. You go with him, you'll come in as a part of the family. He can even move in and help us pay bills over here. So it's more of a survival tactic joining right. families over there. Than it is over here. Hmm. Okay, and so so you're saying just the family, regardless of the girl being under 18, the family nuclear families was touted over there, and that's what y'all bring over here as opposed to what we we value. No, they don't bring it over. So uh, here, here's the thing, like this, this was I tried to hit on earlier. So go ahead. when I was talking about classism, classism is a big factor in this whole thing. When you the Africans you see in America are usually the people who are in the upper class or middle oh, class, the middle class, because they don't want to be able to get over here. So usually those people are already they've already uh, brought on the Western culture, so they they fit in over here like they they. For example, my family is 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 Catholic and and uh, Christian, or whatever. So my family came when my father came over here. And he brought his his mother and all that. They fit into this culture like easily or whatever. But the people you're talking about, they're lower class. So people who are lower class, they're going to go with the more traditional ways, like you said, like the marrying younger and all this stuff. So that's not yeah. all of us. Yeah, no, it says yeah. So it says um, eighty percent get married, right? The women specifically, um, thirty percent of them are married before. 15 mm. or excuse me before their 18th birthday and the one percent per yeah and one percent 1.6 percent of the boys before their 18th birthday aren't married we should now so i just i'm just want to parse this out to understand so is what what's the culture exactly i mean it's the so, same thing yeah. over here well we consider young, that predatory young, younger women over here so older men, older men go for younger women. It's the same thing. This is a this is well, a, you know you know people here actually get married within their age group. Right? Well, let me let me also say this though because I I'm just gonna use Mexicans as a reference. Um, when I taught a lot of Mexican <clears throat> students, they were married to the same person of the same age, most likely, but yeah. they were 19 and 18 and 19, 20 years old, married sure. already. And the, the only thing that I will say, because in my mind, I grew up here, right? Like 18 is too young to get married to me. Yeah. But what I will say is we're looking at it like ill, not realizing that they're socialized a lot different over there. 18 is an actual adult because of life experience. Before 18. You, you have to pay for school over there. So if you're the third or fourth child, most families with a, let's say, lower middle or middle class income can't afford to send their third or fourth child to school. So they work on the farm from the time they're six years old. That was my father. He did that. Right. So by the time that person's 18, he's a grown fucking man or, or there's a grown woman who has life experience, work experience and knows how to basically put a family together. It's a completely different 18 year old that you're getting. I don't agree with it, but it's it's not the same here. I, we prolong the adolescence of American children into the 30s. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're saying they they get hardened pause to prepare family and that's what they manufactured up into they just they, they, life life grew them up they're just more mature that's they're raised to be that way the yeah. average the average nine-year-old um african girl can run a house better than probably most of these 20 30 year olds they're just raised like that to do that so it's <laughs> yeah, in that sense uh ct you've been quiet and it look you can jump in yeah, for an hour and a half. Uh, thank you so much, man. I want to um, point something out real quick. <clears throat> this book uh, is called The Little Big Number. It's written, by, uh, and by the way, guys, uh, I was quiet when everybody was speaking. Uh, Dirk Philipson, white man. Uh, this book is about how, it's really weird because this is a fascinating book about why GDP is not important. 
mind you, GDP is the metric of how a nation is successful. This is a critique of GDP. Keep that in mind real quick, okay? Now, this book is uh, called Mr. Trump's Wild Rise. It's written by Major Garrett. This is a critique on uh, Donald Trump, right? White man, white man, okay? This is red-handed. This is a critique by Peter Schweitzer on Joe Biden's nefarious deals in China. Great book, by the way. A white man critiquing a white man, okay? This is The Long March, a book that I read. It's a beautiful historical book about Mao Zedong, uh, the dictator of uh, the former or former China. And um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's many biographies of people who, uh, in China, who talked about what happened under Mao, uh, people critiquing Mao that are Chinese, by the way. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, Chaotic, why did you just deviate from the main topic? Well, there were people on the panel, and there have been blacks on other panels and blacks on many news outlets to say, why is it that black people always critique black people? No other people do it. What the fuck is CNN? What the fuck is Fox News? They do it every goddamn day. What is C-SPAN? What is every media news outlet? You can find mm. millions of books of whites critiquing uh, 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 whites critiquing whites of their and in the past and current. There are so many books of whites critiquing George Washington, whom I believe is the greatest president of all time. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to land it right quick. So I just want to point that out real quick. Okay, now I was waiting to get that one out. Ham, I'm sorry about that. Hold on for a second. Now. Here goes. Do, does anybody know a man named Stephen Ducat? Oh shit! Stephen <laughs> Ducat, Ducat. He wrote the Whip Factor. Does anybody remember the Newsweek article that had the President of the United States George H. I'm sorry, George W. He's on the front page of Newsweek being disrespected by a white man. Hold on for a second, guys. I'm almost done with this one. Okay, give me a second. I'm almost done with this one. Here goes a book, and uh, oh, I, I don't have it any. I don't have it on me anymore. But all I'm saying is that other groups of people critique each other, and other groups of people critique other people. Peter Navarro wrote a book called "Death by China." I read it twice. <laughs> Great damn book. He curb stomps the uh, the CCP, and he talks so much shit about Xi Jinping. He better not step foot even in Mongolia because he'd get in prison. So let's not pretend that other groups of people don't talk shit about other people. So we could stop all that. Now, uh, to my main point, I want to point something out real quick. I went to a beautiful high school. It was a small high school. Hamp, I've told you about this before, mostly females. Mm -hmm. You ever looked across the table in the lunchroom and it's the, 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 the handicapped kids, you know, Down syndrome, whatever, you know, other respectfully other ailments that these kids have. You ever seen two kids with Down syndrome having a fight? Okay, well, chaotic. What do you mean by this? So this is how I view black people uh, in the diaspora. I view us as Down syndrome kids having a fight and whites and orientals are the regular people looking at us. We don't understand the world. You Negroes don't understand how your cars work, your, your, your phones work, your computers work, etc. And not just on the panel, but just in general. P Pastor Manning is right. We are arguing about nonsensical things here. Hear, hear me out for a minute. Let me hear, hear me out for a minute. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I've been waiting to talk. Artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, quantum computing, robotics, sustainable technology, printing, blockchain, virtual reality, analytics, distributed cloud, digital twins, autonomous, uh, platform engineering, web development, data science, computing. Niggas don't control a goddamn thing of it. I'm almost done. Hear me out for a minute. In the top industries, retail, transportation, real estate, hospitals, car development, construction, finance, technology, information, pharmaceuticals niggas don't control none of it whether they're african or black american yeah you might find some negroes that might be on the well melody hobson she's a billionaire and she's a blah 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 yeah of course you're gonna find black americans uh, uh, uh you may find one or two in c-suite positions or even the board of uh, board of directors but negroes will argue about a thousand years ago before they argue about what's currently taking place right now. When's the last time an African, uh, 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 an African, African-American or two Africans got together and said, you know what, 
Let we want to let's dominate the fucking steel industry. Let's dominate the concrete uh, concrete industry. Shout out to Alico Dangote, by the way. He he's one of the only ones. But when it when are we going to dominate things instead of talking about some mythical past? Who gives a shit about ancient Egypt? By the way, well, you know I've done many shows about ancient Egypt. But who gives a shit about ancient Egypt? Who gives a shit about Mansa Musa? Some nigga. Who, who instead of instead of smelting the gold down and using it for technological purposes, this dumb nigga, he puts it all over his body and his horses, and he goes into Europe, and sure enough, the Arabs are like, God damn, those fucking moon crickets have a lot of gold. He opened up the floodgates for the fucking Arabs to come into fucking West Africa. I'm almost done, Ham. Give me a second. Can I, you know, I've been waiting to talk. I, I, I waited an hour and a half. So all I'm saying is... We got to stop sounding like two kids with Down syndrome arguing over Yu-Gi-Oh cards and let's try to conquer this goddamn planet. I want I want to I want to be bigger than U.S. Steel, nigga. That's what I want to be bigger than. Shout out to Godfather, by the way. I want to be bigger than U.S. Steel. I don't want to argue about what 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 uh, 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 Madam C.J. Walker did. I don't give a fuck about that, Mammy. I don't give a fuck about a poem that that uh, who's who's that whore, Gway? Uh, Who's that whore? That the, the, the bitch who wrote poetry, Madam uh, uh, Maya Angelou. I don't give a fuck about this bitch. I, I care about power. That's what I care about. I want to conquer, just like what Mike said. I'm tired of being viewed as this punk soft, uh, uh, this punk soft person. When's the last time some Negro said, "Hey, man, how the fuck does a a jet work? How the fuck does rocket? I want. That's what we should be talking about. We talking about." The Moors? We talking about Egypt? We talking about a goddamn uh, stoplight? Get the fuck out of here! Thank you, Ham. Oh, I've been waiting an hour and a half. Jesus Christ! Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have a nose bleed. Go ahead. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Say what you will about chaotic truth, but I agree with that shit. Yeah, hundred. But hold on, notice that all the Africans kind of agree with him, though. Of course, the Africans. No, I'm agree. an African American. I'm half I'm Argument. half American black and half Native American. <laughs> we ain't the ones fighting. We don't dominate. No, we don't dominate. Shit. Nobody, and nobody spoke. Nobody spoke up enough to make a definitive statement. Ao, except for Mandrell, who is actually a uh, black American. I'm um, black every, American too, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so then you would say that you agreed and Mandrell agreed. Unwoke hasn't said anything yet. Neither has Illa or Granville. So, can we make that conclusion that they disagree? Go ahead. No, sure. I'd like to hear from them officially. Um, I know unwoke. I, I mean, he. I'm sure he considered everything that was said. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, everything was everything he said was encompassed in what I asked Illa before. Like, why does that shit matter? Like, how does that how does that have any bearing on where we are today as Black Americans in America today? And um, that's why I think that uh, you know, Africans view us the way they do because they see that we are. We're making this attempt to disassociate ourselves from America while they're assimilating and and and, and, be, and grabbing the and taking root and grabbing hold of these of these opportunities while we're trying to repudiate it. So I just like I said, I, I still can't I, I don't understand what is the significance of understanding all that shit when it has no bearing on where we are today. Hey, can I can I speak to that? Because that's a good question. So the, the, the only thing for me is um, it helps a lot with understanding like how we are as a people. And it, it, it makes me not feel insignificant. Right. Because if you just look at it like like, for example, with our women, we always complaining about our women and our women. And we don't understand that. But many, many like me, I see African women as strong women, as, as tough women. So I can appreciate about appreciate that about them. I love African women. So therefore all these issues with women, they're, they don't make me as upset because there's an understanding of that. There's an understanding that different types of Nigerians come from different tribes and therefore everybody's not on my people. So I don't expect everyone to be unified because there's not even any such thing. And if you really know um, Africa, right, and where we're really from. Also, it helps to understand, like, the distinction, the delineation between sub-Saharan Africans and those northern Africans. So uh, from my understanding, more is, is short for Morocco, which is northern African, 
lot of those Africans, they're, they're Arabs. They're completely different from the rest. You'll never go anywhere and see a bunch of Northern Africans and Sub-Saharan Africans partying together. So understanding the difference, like we're not Egyptian, no one's DNA test is coming back from Egypt. So just understanding those differences helps just to understand how we relate interpersonally. Also helps with our strengths and weaknesses. Historically, we're not the most um, strategic people on earth. Right. So then if you understood the history and saw the history, it would help you understand where you are in the world and instead of pretending, <laughs> pretending like you're going to be something that that's not really your strength. So I think that that's that's why it's helpful. It's not helpful when we start to like put ourselves on a pedestal and try to say we did everything on the earth. I don't think that's helpful. I think that's egotistical and I think that holds us back. But being humble about where we come from, there's not a bunch of pyramids all throughout sub-Saharan Africa. There aren't really any. So claiming that we we did stuff that we didn't and invented things that we didn't, that kind of holds us back. But it, for humility purposes, I think that's why that's important. I would say um, just going back and forth with each other, Africans, not liking African-American, African-American, not liking Africans, it's not going to take us anywhere at all. So we can do all of this to each other while other groups are climbing the ladder. So for me, I don't really care about all of this stuff. I just choose to focus on what I came here to do in America. You know, the reason why I don't look back is because I survived civil war. I don't look at myself as a victim. I look at myself as being blessed to be one of the people that was able to live through that nightmare and have the opportunity or blessed to have the opportunity to come to America and make something out of my life so that I can help the people I left there. So, you know, a lot of times people think that, oh, Africans uh, move this way or they think this way and all of that. It's not that, it's survival move. Because if you understand where we come from and what, how horrible it is there, when you come here, all you do want to do is focus. And that is what make people think that, oh, well, maybe the way they behave or the way they carry themselves is feel like they think they're better than us. No, it's just that because we know if, if, if Black American wants to do things in America, nothing happened. They stay in America. If an African that's naturalized um, was to do something in America, you will get deported. So, and the people that get deported are teased. You know, they are ridiculed when they get back to Africa. Mm. So our focus is for us to benefit from what we can take out of, what we can use to benefit ourselves out of uh, coming from where we come from. You know, so I don't focus on all that stuff. I don't see myself as victim. You know, so I just I come where I can, where I can uh, make use out of. I make use out of, and I move on. What I can get access to is what I get access to. Me complaining is not going to help me at all. So I just and think. And that's the sentiment. That is exactly the sentiment that I come across when I in, interact with Africans. They say exactly what you're saying. They don't focus on the past. They don't even they don't even concern themselves with that shit. So I think that if, if, if we were to make any delineation, that would be it. Between black and uh, FBAs, I suppose. Wait, what's let, the difference? Let me just say from oh, whoa, what's the difference? Give me, give me the difference in simpler terms, bro. What's the difference well, you said it is? Black uh, Africans, when they come to this country, they have a level, a degree of gratitude that they're here to take hold of these opportunities. I think Black Americans, they've squandered that. They just, they don't see Black what, Americans have squandered their opportunities in America. They don't you see, disagree? they don't. They don't see the opportunities that affords that are afforded to them through the same lens as you know Africans coming to this country or foreigners in general. They don't see. Yeah, do you, do, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I why think, they don't see it though? Hold on, man. Drop, man. Drop. Hold on. Hold on, man. Drop. Hold on, man. Drop. Yeah, Chill out. There's a reason why Black African Americans don't see it the way that Africans see it because Africans got ran off from their country. Whether it be through okay. civil war, child soldiers, or whatever, the niggas, though, they man. Left, listen, they here, left this, listen, listen, they, I'm going to, I'm telling you why they see it differently. Africans do not see it the same way because they come over there and see it as an opportunity for freedom. When Americans, black Americans look at this, 
Their lineage has spelt blood over here for hundreds of years and been discriminated against, have gone through atrocities and everything on this fucking soil and are trying to make a way. You left the blood soil that you came from. This is the blood soil that African Americans have been living on for all their life. The history that they know is here. That's the difference. So yes, I would probably be a little bit more upset if I could go down my lineage and my history as far back as I can because I am a removed person from where I'm originally from and I can actually see the history of what was done to my people on this soil. Hmm. How does that rebuttal what he said? Yeah, but you're still the richest blacks in the world. That's the difference, hold on, hold on, my nigga. That's you just substantiate what I said, man. man. You just you rebuttal what he said. Hold, hold on, real just no. yeah. Did he say no. did he say the reason why black people don't just sit here and say that shit don't matter, get over it, it's the past? He said is because the soil in which they are on is where all the atrocities happen. So that's not addressing what was what was said. No. No, you said, fucking that's retarded, saying, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me clarify it one more time before y'all jump in it. Right, unwoke was like, why are black people for all intents and purposes, um, focusing on the past and what happened? Africans don't do that when they get over here, right? Granville said this is the this is the place where the atrocities happen, so they're forever prevalent and systematic oppression still exists today according to black people which is why they're not over it yet that's what well, he said y'all y'all don't that's get, get y'all education though. listen listen hold up y'all don't y'all don't get y'all education y'all money all this shit and go back to where this crazy shit was happening to y'all which y'all ran from y'all fucking stay here y'all establish new families new lines over here with this fucking soul while i'm at i got generations that were slaves that were hanged that were murdered this is where it happened for me. I can't trace my history like y'all do. The history that I know is on this fucking back? soil. How it does not hold back? it back. What Unwoke said was how black people buck the system and don't care about the system and they want to fight the system over here. They don't take advantage of it. What he's I'm trying to tell you is Adam, he's, Unwoke, he's, is that what you said? Keep it Isn't that what you said? Keep it simpler for you. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, that's what you said, though, right? Oh, well, that's what you said, correct? Yeah, essentially, yep. That's what I said. I'm done. You go go. Why? Hmm. How does that hold you back, though? As an African American, how does that hold you back? It don't okay. hold it's you back. It's not holding me back. The man was the point. Hold up. No, no, it was not. Yo, the man's yo, question yo, was why, why, are you, why, why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? Okay. My bad, my bad, because I get hyped, right? Just had to like, ain't no beef, ain't no beef. I'm not having, I'm not having a conversation. This we can, why I don't we like can you. understand you better when you, when you. So listen, so beef. listen. This is what I'm saying. It's not being held back. He asked the question: Why do we buck the system? Why don't we take a part of the, uh, the, the fucking? Why don't we assimilate like you Africans do? The reason why we don't want to assimilate into these people because if we assimilate into these people, these are the same people that shed our blood on this fucking soil who made us work night and day in fucking chains and in slavery. This is the soil that this shit happened to us on. Mm. Y'all atrocities did not happen on this soil. You come from it. Y'all came over from a different continent. No, Ayo, what we're saying, what he's saying is, no, no, you don't need to clarify. Ayo was about to respond. Go ahead and respond. Yo, you're making reminder. the argument that y'all are held back by this system. So hold on. So answer this question: What what advantage does an immig uh, African immigrant have over an American who was born in America? What advantage do they have? The history of knowing that the same people that he's assimilating to this did not slave and chain and kill his hell? fucking ancestors. You motherfuckers came up here talking about tradition, African tradition, and all this motherfucking shit. But when I decided to talk about motherfucking history, it's a problem. Nigga, fuck that no, shit. Let's, so let's, history is holding you back. That's what you're saying. No, let's consider the question. No, yeah, yeah. I'm saying the anger. The anger. Yeah, Answering why that, black people do not want to follow the system. That's what Unwoke wanted to know. What problems do black people have with the system? Instead of progressing, just follow the system. You well, uh, Ao. That's actually an interesting question, right? So if we assess it, you have two people. One person, you say, if you do something bad, I will remove you. The other person, you can't remove. Do you have to attack that person you can't remove differently? Say it one more time. So like, you got two people, right? One, if you do something wrong, I'm going to remove you, right? Like Gway alluded to, the conduct is different because you can be deported, right? Okay. So you you act accordingly. There's another yeah. person. Who you may feel a way about, but you can't remove them. Do you have to attack that person differently? 
does who have to attack that person different? You, like, you. So you're the person. Uh, you're police. I'm the, I'm, I'm the authority. Yeah. Right. So one person, you can just get them out of here. The other right. person, right? You what? Well, you you can't just get them out of here. Do you have to punish and attack that person differently? Of course. So if if he if if Granville, because his stance is systemic oppression still exists, that's that would be a difference between how we would be treated, right? As as um people sit, you know, uh, we were born here, and and and, and an African who came here would be treated. Does that make sense? But based off what you just but said, that, but, that, but is, it, is it logical? Just I'm just asking. No, hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me elaborate. Based off what you just said, okay. that would make the African more, more of docile, a more no? docile, more no, not, no, not no. a victim, but docile. No, no, like, what I'm saying, yeah. So, because they're, they're like Africans do come over here and do bullshit too, sure, or whatever. That's what I'm saying. So, what if you compare those two things, wouldn't that make the African more of a liability because he can get deported? No. No, he, he wouldn't be a liability because you can control yeah. him with, with the but threat he of deport. Hold not on, AO, AO, slow down. The reason why he's not a threat is because you can just deport him, right? You see, the threat comes when you can't deport. You have okay, to I use see, other, okay, see, you see, see what I'm saying? You have to use other systems to beat him down in a different way, which is Granville sentiment. I'm just, you know what I mean? Just to understand how they would be treated differently. Okay, I, okay, I understand that, but I, that's okay. not what I got from what he was saying. Okay. He, yeah, keeps, that's he, he keeps speaking oh. on look so he keeps speaking on history and that's why we don't the whole the overall thing was why do why do the immigrants come over here and they don't dwell on the history of america's whatever why are you dwelling why are you using I, history to hold so yourself let me let me let me answer okay, this. So let, let me granville you got right, it. Think, of, think about this right like gray shout out to gray you know what i mean she survived the civil war right hence the word civil war is internal with two opposing groups so when granville's talking about why niggas is bucking the system is because it would be like gway's people assimilating to the system that they just have a civil war with so that's the point he's making you see what i'm saying so the, so the, right, the system the system is what b black people push back against it would be like gway's people saying you know what fuck it we're we gonna do what y'all do say what y'all say no they went to war about it so that that would be that the thing but see let I'm, me ask you a question I'm, hold, I'm hold on hold on disagreeing with that perspective that's, okay that's yeah that's fine right. wait, wait, wait i got a question for you yeah i got you. Look, let me ask your girl let me ask your girl a question say baby girl listen let's say you get i don't know nigga, enough money to take care of yourself hold on, i don't fucking know would you ever go back to the country the place where you were born where you got ran off from would you ever in life go back there to live there to establish yourself there? Who who again? Didn't ran out from anywhere though? Like she just said she was part of civil war, civil strike, my nigga. I'm asking a simple question from the information that I have with her. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Would you go back? Would you go play to back to that place with the civil war, the strife and all that, and reestablish yourself there to prolong where your ancestors come from? Would I mean, you go I, back there? When the country becomes safe, yeah. When the country becomes safe, right? Okay. Yeah, because you wouldn't go back there right now. That's the goal of most. To be honest, that's the goal of most Africans, um, because it's you, you to retire over there is way more better than to retire in the U.S. There you go. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's money differences. But what I'm saying is, right now, is if but it never, if it, it never, if it never comes down, if it never comes down, it becomes peaceful. Will you ever go back? It's peaceful now. We have a we have we just had a, a, a new election. They're trying to develop and build the country up. So why you ain't go back yet? Because it's better over here. She know that, right? We all know. That. But everybody knows it. And Gwen, yeah, remember, remember, Gwen, you also people. told me that yeah. black men are more attractive than African men anyway. Gosh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, hey, let me say something real quick. Before I, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> that, that is true. I mean, that's my personal opinion, but you know, everybody has their own. Yeah, no, a lot of African women say that. But before I go, um, make love to my African American woman. Um, I just want to <laughs> say, um, uh, I feel like, um, you know, um, I feel like African Americans, uh, they really have, they really have like a lot of privilege in this country, right? Because they can do things like say you know, oppression in history has really, really affected us, right? But they, <laughs> but they but like, per this conversation, they'll never say the, 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 
The afflictions of our people have made us feel inferior to Africans, and we feel like they're better than us, as opposed to them thinking that they, you won't say that, right? You get to say both. You get to say that you've been affected by all of these things psychologically, economically, da 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 da. But you won't say that it's affected you to the point where you feel like inferior to your African brothers and sisters. And so I think that that's a privilege that y'all have. Um, but thank you, thank you for your time. And uh, thank that's you. not how that shit is, though, bro. That's not how that shit is. My problem is, my problem is when niggas say you think you better, nigga. We all run this race, nigga. That. Everybody nope. run this motherfucking race. It is what it is, nigga. And if you come up here talking shit, nigga, it is what it is. I'm going to talk shit back. Nigga, everybody got their fucking problems. Right? That's why you've been up here talking to yourself. Nobody's up here said that, but you carry that with you, right? So you're displaying that you have an inferiority complex every time you open your mouth. An inferiority complex? Yeah, that's my problem, bro. said that they was better than you. Nobody. But you keep keep making that narrative because that's how you feel on the inside. And Let if me ask. History has affected you that much. Then you got to be real with your with yourself enough to maybe maybe say that, as opposed to accusing all of us of saying we're better than you. Then nobody said that, right? So you guys have that privilege where y'all can do that, y'all. y'all I never be- say any of y'all said this on the panel. I just say things that I've heard from Africans. I never okay. accuse any of y'all of saying this shit. Okay. Y'all okay. talk about no. which country are you talking about and which part? Man, look, at y'all all, look, look, I'm going to be racist as hell. Y'all all look alike. So all y'all went in the box. Nigga. I mean, that's your opinion. Are you entitled to it? Man, that <laughs> shit, like, bro, I know what? Nigerians look like you, bro. <laughs> what, Trigger? I was going to say, I mean, it's interesting to me. I don't know if this is self-hate or what or colorism, but all of this smoke for Africans... Look at these niggas taking a high. Why don't y'all got the same smoke <laughs> for Afghan Americans, Chinese Americans, Japanese Americans, Indian Americans? Nigga, I got smoke for anybody who got smoke for I got smoke for anybody for being mine. You talking about this nigga? I'm going to shit on you, nigga. Bro. Yeah, yeah, the simple thing is, if, I'm gonna be real, Mike, man. Don't you think if we had a panel, niggas versus A Rads, we would be smoking a boost too? Nah, I don't think so. No, <laughs> out of here, no, no, no. Well, let him answer. Let him answer. Okay. What Osa said is actually really true. I think people got a inferiority complex, and the only people they really feel like going off on are their own skin folk. Hmm. They don't say the white men been calling you nigger and hang you from a tree, but you don't say shit to them. Why ain't you fixed that problem yet? You're a fucking lie. They do it every day in America. That's what y'all Why people like. Yeah, hey, I to complain about. Y'all be yelling yeah, I complain about that. niggas going about in the system against white people all fucking day, morning, noon, and night. Mexican oh, just said, oh, 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 just said, oh, 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 just said, niggas are fucking the system. They don't want to get in line. They Mexican don't want to just do the thing because they fucking because they can't deal with the fucking white man. man like, what are you talking about? This ain't mad, bro. Mm-hmm. What up, bro? What? Mexican Americans over here taking working class jobs, but yeah, that's a fact. Niggas is mad at Africans. I mean, let let me tell you. Let me just clear some stuff up because this is this is a good episode to do this. A lot. There's a lot of go back to Africa talk. The answer is fuck no, and I'll go when I'm good and ready. Let me tell you something that, that was told be me. Never. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something that was told to me as a youth. This land belongs to nobody. Because when it comes to Africans, that's when y'all want to lay claim on it. Nobody owns shit here, especially black people. Well, you don't own shit here. This Africans land is for sale. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This land is for sale to the highest fucking bidder or whoever's willing to take it. All right. So if you can't outwork me, don't talk to me like that. That's the shit. It don't matter if you black Chinese. You know what my parents told me? If y'all want to be for, for real, you better than everybody. I'm better than everybody. I don't give a oh, fuck that- if you black, white, Indian. If you don't got the hustle like I got, just 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 leave me alone, bro. This land is for sale. It belongs to no one. So when it comes to talking to me, don't make it seem like you all of a sudden got claim. Or you can lay claim. To, you don't own shit here. <laughs> Nothing. That's a fact. No, that's a fact. That's a fact, nigga. Because that's the reason why your people came over here. Because China, America, Russia, all them own your fucking land over there, nigga. You can't get no pickings over there, nigga. That's they, the, they own your fucking uh, government. They own your uh, land. They own everything over there, nigga. You gotta come where you can get at least get a second chance. But I thank Black Americans for that, nigga. Thank I Black Americans for that. The okay. same when you go into minorities. The same when you go into minorities for your education. That for is not 
a yeah. contract, government contracts yeah. and all this. When you lie, sign up under that minority, nigga. Remember that minority was for Black Americans, nigga. That's not not true. Tethers like you. It's uh, something called. Why we ain't heard nothing you say? Hold on, wait. Let me let me respond. Let me respond. It's something called treaties. Y'all have no we, idea we, what we got. Well, we got. Is he, is he talking about? about What's the what's the thing that just got repealed that Harvard had an issue of um affirmative action? Yeah, what what was who was that? Was that created for um blacks or women? That was created for minorities. But minorities I mean white women. Minorities. Was it blacks first? And then like I think the women women first. No, black women. No, the language says minorities, I think. Yeah. The the language says minority, but women became a double minority because she's black and she's a woman. But and when that, she's an African woman, she'll climb down the. Yeah, all right, but what I'm app. saying is, at that juncture, at that time in the, in the, in the, in the country, was that was that for black people? Would you say, Mike? Say that one more time, sir. Like just affirmative action at that juncture, was it for black people? Even if, even if it said minority, based on the country at that time, the demographics and such. Yes, yes, based on the yeah. demographics. Yeah, we would have wanted to make a point. I just 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 go ahead. But yeah, man, that that's all I'm really saying. But no, as Africans, we gotta stop getting butt hurt when um. People say you fled your country. You got damn right. I'm an opportunist. Oh, I don't get mad at that. My father was an opportunist. He's better than most of the people over there. He figured out a fucking way. He got kicked out of his country three times and he still came back. And now they're paying him social security. Okay. When y'all call us scammers, I want y'all to realize something. Maybe we're fucking smart. How the fuck were you able to get scammed over and over and over a fucking game? Give me damn. my prop. What the fuck I'm <laughs> All right, yeah. don't let listen. I'm gonna I'm talking about being morally correct and family. Not scamming is okay. Scamming is okay now. Scamming is okay. Hold up, bro. Hold up, okay. saying, hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. He's saying he found y'all, a y'all way. Y'all gotta understand. Y'all gotta, yeah, understand. I know. He found a way. Yeah, I know how he said this. Shit, like, has really got to stop. This, this, this whole land is for the taking, bro. Yeah, it, it, That's no, a nobody's fact. crying over spilt milk or none of that. shit. Mm-hmm. All right, so if you if you see an African doing well, be like, hey, my, you, I promise you, you could just walk up to him and ask if you could do the same thing. You you can ask him. I've never seen, like I said, we we actually do in our in our core care about our skin folk. We we might think that they might have a little bit of different values from us, but if you ask us how we did something and you want to be a part of to come up to, I guarantee you, somebody gonna bring you along with them. My best friends are African American people. No, nah, I believe that. I believe that. I fuck with y'all too, though. I fuck with your job. Right, let, let, me, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question real quick. All right. So for all the the African Americans on the panel, people who don't identify as African, nigga, you African American too. You got social security. He, nigga, he, you he, can't he, eat he, just shit up somebody else talking. He included. He yeah. included himself in that. Yeah, damn. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Al. How many of you have been negatively affected personally by our African? I have. Negative. Yeah, what was it? I got childhood. I got childhood trauma from the African uh family that was next. To me. They told me I couldn't play at the playground. Well, they well, we, we already kind of. I was a devil. I was a like, devil. I'm talking about the other guys. I'm talking about the other guys. I was but, a devil. I was a devil in the many eyes. All right. All right. All right. All right so let me all let right, me yeah. on what I'm, what I'm getting to. So, me as a what as I call myself a mud blood half African half American child. I grew up constantly being harassed for being African growing up. <clears throat> no matter if it was positive, ne- no matter what I did, it was because I'm African. I was the African booty scratcher. I was, you know what I'm saying? I, they did the clicking noises and made, the me, money, made up stuff. Even even when I excelled in sports, they said, oh, it's, you just Tarzan. It's because you, you used to fighting lions and tigers and bears and shit. And, you know, <laughs> It's always something. You know what I'm saying? So growing up as a half African kid in America, we ex- we the ones who experienced the trauma. Like, I, I don't oh, understand. That's God. why when I started hearing about this whole <laughs> Ata versus African American shit, the shit was just goofy to me. It's like, what? how has how have y'all been affected the, from by Africans? How have Africans affected you personally? Like, okay. we growing up, see, I thought it was just me until I started Talking to other African uh, Im- immigrant, ch- uh, well, first first generation uh, African immigrant children, and they were saying, "Well, we went through the same thing." And I was like, "Okay, damn." But I just tell you, like for me, the reason I come from my perspective, my father took me back home to Nigeria twice in my life when I was young, 
And it was the second time I went that made me realize how fucking sport and entitled Americans are in general. I'm just talking about black Americans, just Americans in general. Mm-hmm. When I went to Nigeria and I realized they was like five, six years behind what we knew over here, I was like, damn. Like it, it, it just changed my whole perspective on life in general. Or whatever. Like they don't they don't have as yes, they're good. No, they're not living in huts and TPs or whatever the hell you were saying earlier. They live in civilized cities just like us. They're just behind. Right? right? They're behind. But uh-huh. that experience helped me elevate my own mind to understand like it's more to this shit than uh African and African American. Again, I grew up on both sides, so I can see both perspectives. That's why I was that's why I was questioning up my uh, my brother uh Illa earlier where he get his perspective from. Cause every time I ask him a question, it's in this book, and it's in this book. What have you experienced though? That's where it comes that's it what it comes down to at the end of the day for me. What have you experienced? Now, when you when we come to this conversation, I guarantee you those African immigrant children have experienced, actually experienced more than the the uh African American people who push back on. Oh, what terms? Experience more in what? In what categories? About, about what I just said. About being bullied, about being African and being discriminated against just no, because... No, nigga, that's you being a kid. That's you being a kid African in America. Or whatever. Like, yeah. having, to, having to always pronunciate my name for every teacher, every year having to teach the teachers how to say my name and all that bullshit. Like, I, I, I know. It, it, so, it hurt, bro. It's, it's so many levels to it. But My nigga, it hurt. Hold it on, hurt, on, it hurt. But I was, but, but nigga. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not a victim, though. You you see me on this this panel. In no way yeah. have I come out as a victim. I've moved but, on. I've learned the culture. I know the culture. I, I, I've assimilated. I, I, I get where I, I'm supposed to be. Y'all see me in, in, the, in the comments, too. Or whatever. And people in the comments, you shut up. Y'all don't know shit neither. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to land this plane. But anyway. The, my whole point is, what what is the problem? Why are we having this conversation? Hell, so what is your problem with with Africans? Uh, Andrea, what Mandrea, what is your problem with Africans? CC, what I love that you asked. Happily, I happily tell you, uh, I was in the yeah. army and I was deployed to Africa, several different countries in Africa. Okay, and because of that experience, no, thank you. I don't want any y'all. Y'all keep it. I don't want anything from that continent. Fuck all of you. Uh, and the whole nine. It's some shit I'm not going to get into on the live, but I'd like to tell you about it off camera. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyone said that experience, um, I think you would agree. Now, it's, it, yeah. the, 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 the thing is, when it comes to the people who come here, and immigrate here, I got no problem with them people. You know what I'm saying? Africans who come up here and immigrate and, um, and, and, and assimilate to American culture. Fair enough. Just don't walk around asking me well, you've been here all this time, black people, and you still ain't got shit. Okay, fuck you. That's when I get into that shit, that bag, when they start talking shit to me. That's where, when I get, get into that bag. Where specifically? Where did you go? What do you mean, where? You said you, you went over to Africa. Where, where exactly? I guess I'm not getting to that. On, uh, uh, yeah, I was deployed there. You say you're not getting into there. it. In, in several different ca- countries in Africa. I'm not going to get into it on camera, on a lie. But like I said, like if we... After the show or whatever case, I'm glad to tell you about it. Go ahead, Cam. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it just it wasn't a pleasant experience. And um, it's like, yeah, I understand why people would run away from that continent, the whole continent. Your leadership is trash. Yeah, it's a you lot You know what I'm saying? Chaos. Yeah, yeah it, it's just, it, it's just, it's insane, man. It's insane. It really is. So, I like, why, why you want to leave? I totally get it. I ain't mad at that. It's just when we're here and you start talking shit to African Americans for no, for apparently no reason on things you don't know about. That's when I take so, it. You. That's why I was asking you. So Mm-mm. have have you had have you been in America and people of African descent talk shit to you? Yeah, it's happened several How? times. What, I've like, never walked. Like, I've never approached an African person and started mm-hmm. talking shit. That's it's always been the other way around. I mean, that's his answer. Hey, yo, did niggas talk shit to you? So what up? Did black people talk shit to you? Only after they, only after they found out my name. Okay, 
Is it plausible that that's it happened other way? Like, since I've been grown, no one is it, is it plausible that it happened other way around? No, I, no I'm trying. I just told you my story. I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying, saying that's what Mandrell like, said, and then you was like, "How? Well, if it happened to you, it could very well happen to him." That's but why. I explained how. I explained how they they came at me. He won't. <laughs> but he was saying he won't, he won't explain. So I, yeah, I was let's like, go ahead and get I just, I just explained it to you. I, no, I, right, did, I did ahead. explain let's, it. I, I just, yeah, you know, I just said it. when it comes, Mandrell is good. You guys been all this time. Let's go ahead and get chaotic in. Let's go ahead and get chaotic. Hey, to answer your question. um I am an equal opportunity racist. I don't view the world from an African <laughs> perspective, uh, Asian perspective, a Hispanic perspective. I view the world from a Western perspective, Western civilization. The problem that I have with Africans, uh, I'm talking about continental Africans, Chinese, um, any other Oriental that come over to this country, uh, Hispanics, you know, I kick in the backs of pretty much everybody on my channel. But, but it's funny because nobody really calls in when I kick in the backs of other groups of people, which I do. The problem is that when you come over here, you don't assimilate into the greatest country on the planet. You come over here two or three generations. It still sounds like you just got off a banana boat. You know, I, I went to school with a lot of Hispanics like this, I mean, especially Dominicans. I I'm like, you've been in this country. Your grandfather was born here. Why do you still sound like you just came off of a goddamn um, fishing boat? I, I, I don't get it. It's, 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 it, I see Mexicans. They, they drop around with their Mexican flag. Well, why the fuck didn't you just stay in Mexico? I see it with... Uh, I had a lot of friends growing up that were like literally from I'm talking about actually off the boat off the from the continent. And I had friends in Congo. I had friends uh, uh, from R uh, Rwanda. They would, would still wear their garbs. And this was more like college, but they would still wear their traditional garbs. They would still talk about the Congo. And I used to ask them, why the fuck didn't you just stay in, in Kinshasa? Why, why didn't you just stay there? Because you're, you're it's offensive when you are around all these people, black, white. Facts everybody and you're talking about this nation like it's so goddamn great and it's not it, it's not great it's not a none of these places that you, same thing with chinese like all you i went to school at the time when they were bringing up all these chinese kids and these and these slanty eyed bastards would just be sitting around speaking i'm like what wh wh what is going on here why is this country so open like wh why do we allow this and now and now look at what we see what's going on now we don't have a southern border for any, you know, for everybody who knows about what's going on, we don't even have a border anymore because these things happened years ago, and we yeah. let it happen. Yeah. We let it happen. The thing, the, the, the thing I love about uh, white Ellis Island, when they came from Italy, when they came from uh, a lot of their war torn European countries, they assimilated eventually. You don't walk around Al Pacino, his I think his grandmother, somebody I think both of his parents were born in Italy. He doesn't even know Italian. That's how it should be. Robert De Niro doesn't know Irish. He doesn't know Gaelic. He, and I think I think he's half Irish and half Italian. He doesn't know Italian. And then when he when, when he's trying to speak it in the movie, it sounds horrible. All you gotta do is ask, look at the reviews. They say, "Damn, he sounds terrible." So the thing is that we're not assimilating, and that's my problem with not just the African, but all people. Man, when you come over here, these Middle Easterns learn the fucking language. Stop talking about your shithole countries. Assimilate. That's my problem, man. I'm telling you, man. That really grinds my gears, man. You, you, when you come here, you, you, you try to be Western or as white as possible, or just go back to, go back to Wakanda. It's nothing wrong with it. Just go back. But when you're over here, you, you need to be as white as possible. The winners, the winners. Go ahead. Jesus. They're the winners. That nigga make some points. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Damn, man, man. Nigga be on point. Yeah. Nigga, that cause you light skin with freckles. Shut up. <laughs> nah, I'm black. I'm Damn. black. Nigga, you gotta be fucked up. I'm more black than you. You're fine. I'm you're black fine. and I'm from the country where I'm from. You hear me? I got blood in this shit. Yeah. I'm black, dog. Unwoke, did you want to answer AO's question? Uh what's the question again, man? What I was saying? asking, have you been affected negatively by Africans personally? No, no, I have not. No. In fact, it, quite the contrary, man. They, uh, they've, uh, like I said, I work with them, so we it's pretty pretty cordial relationship. Every 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 African I've ever met, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But were you saying they were talking trash and shit like that, John? Saying niggas is lazy. No. Yeah, they, no, yeah. I was just, just explaining. Hold on, how. hold on, Ao, hold on, yes. hold on. Yes. So, yeah. So remember, I woke earlier. Was talking about they talk shit about niggas, talking about they lazy, yep. etc. Yeah. But he yeah. think he the only nigga they ain't talking about. 
that they ain't talking about. No, not you. You asked the question. Right. Unwoke said he hasn't been affected. However, they talking about niggas around him, but he the only good nigga. Oh, okay. Not you, Unwoke. Yeah. Just the mother niggas. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if they yeah. saying it, it's saying and, and it doesn't have to be it. egregious, right? It. But the reason why right. the conversation happened because there are those stereotypes that do right. go both ways. I had a lot more questions, but we didn't get there. <laughs> we just, you know what I mean? It was what it was. But it hey, yo, what it is is just the, like similarly to the thing you experience, you know. When I was coaching the kids, there was a decently large um uh African continental African population, and they were surprised that like I played football in college and grad like the parents and shit. Um, I've been doing decently well in terms of business and such. And I was getting dropped off by an African man um in an Uber. He's like, So you own a moving company? You own this and that? Like, you know, like he couldn't believe it because yeah, there's no way a black a black American man, Dre, you had your chance. Uh, there, there's no yeah, way a, really. a black yeah, American man, a black American man accomplished these things. You know what I'm saying? So it's that's not, a fact. You're not slowing me down, right? But like Way was saying, like like Osu was trying to say, Trigger Mike, the insulting we do back and forth, we got to address it and then destroy the narrative, right? That's why I wanted to ask those questions. Like, well, how are we lazy, right? If these other people ain't lazy. And I understand we broke down the argument, but you know, there's several things people are thinking that are real aren't real. That's why when they're saying that shit at work, Unwoke got to be like, oh, oh, you talking about me, my nigga? Right, and hit them with the my nigga because they ain't talking about you. Then, then you don't don't continue to perpetuate that stereotype. You know yeah. what I mean? And and it works a bunch of different ways. You know? And, and yeah, and I see what you're saying because, but it, it, it's almost natural. And um, black any dark, you know, person with this grade of hair, you're almost doomed to have that contentious relationship because of the negative stereotype around black people. Period. If you came into this country with, so what I usually say is, when I say Asian, what's the first thing that come to your mind? Smart, <laughs> good at math. Oh, so no. if they were, if they Their were, positive, they, they can't drive. They can't drive. But That's that shit the don't women. Matter. The Asian women can't drive. So we, we, <laughs> there are so many different cultures with positive <laughs> attributes and characteristics associated with that culture, a group of people. And I think a lot of Africans will come in here and say, is it positive? Is, is the black American, um, are the characteristics associated with black Americans more positive or negative? So it almost makes you kind of maybe subconsciously want to separate yourself in different ways. But the problem, but the problem I have with that, oh, go ahead, finish, Sugar Mike. Go ahead. No, I'm Jesus done. Christ. Look what everybody. The problem. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. They don't even look, look. Here's the funny shit. They don't even eat shrimp fried rice. You ever noticed that? You they ever seen a Chinese person? They, 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 they don't even real Chinese. They don't food. Eat they eat it, what they what they eat still be moving no trigger, Mike. Yeah, in the soup. It's always in soup. Yeah, man. Yeah, if you go to if you actually go to China, if you actually go to China, the Chinese food here ain't really Chinese food. This is just stir fry. Yeah, they still in the Chinese restaurant. It's we don't, we don't, we don't care. We don't care, man. Dude. Don't worry about it. We ain't I'm about to say so. So, check a mic. So, I got this question for you to get some clarity because I'm thinking about one way about it right now, and I'm making you wrong. So, when let's say when they do come over here, when your parents came over here, or when they migrate to the country, right? Do they look at it as for what it is right now, as today? Who you ask? Mike. Damn, that was confusing. I'm asking, next, I'm asking the tether next. I'm asking the tether next to uh ham, not you. I'm talking <laughs> to Mike. You said when my parents. No, so by. when no no so when when the Africans when the Africans migrate over here, do they look at the community as for what it is right now, what they have done so far in America? I I, I don't really know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know to be honest. So how do they get their assumption about black people from the beginning? Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's actually an excellent question. That's an excellent question. Um, a lot of what we see in, um, from from black people that are American, it, it, it's like a love hate relationship because it's entertainment. From an entertainment side, is exciting. 
You got a lot of yeah. people still wearing Tupac shirts and rapper shirts in Africa, all that, that. They love the entertainment, but then they see it as, is this the way you want to market your mainstream culture? You see what I'm saying? So uh, for from, from the music to all the, you know, the stuff you do, that, that's worldwide. Right. People, people love it. But they're like, is this actually the way women actually treat their men? Or are they saying fuck niggas ain't shit? Give a fuck about it. Is, like, is this real? So when they come over here and realize that, oh, d- y'all are actually living what we thought was entertainment. I think they have preconceived notions that, you know, there's moral decay. You know, you're socially corrupt and all that type of shit. And it's usually related back to the family aspect. Because, I mean, listen, what I will so say. It would be the same way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, 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 it would be the same. Oh, 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 my bad. Go ahead. You, you so got many, it. You got it. But That'd be I mean, slow. Y'all, sl- y'all, y'all Africans talk so slow. My bad. Yeah. I was like, say what you want about like African countries and stuff. But men are still revered in a lot of those cultures where right. it's. Like, especially in the lives of your children. There are women that still say, I'd rather die than have fatherless children. What the fuck do you think I am? Like, women can still talk like that from there, right? So if men aren't look, looked at as dispensable figures with and interchangeable figures within a family or not. So then when we come here to this country and it's seen as, you know, something you can do with or do without, you know, that's when, you know, you'll start to see the separation of the two. Like, oh, I can't remember. Oh, okay. So just like when I was growing up and I remember watching Cartoon Network and it, I leave the TV on and two o'clock in the morning that in the arms of the angel commercial used to come on with them like African babies that were starving. And it was begging for 30 cents a day. So that's what I used to see as African culture, correct? Yeah. Y'all, y'all remember the commercials in your... <laughs> Yeah, but 30, uh, problem. Yeah, they just taking the but money. Thirty cents a right. day, you can help little Fatima Lusso eat just for thirty cents a day. That's less than thirty dollars a month. <laughs> you can help this little poor African kid that's standing in the doorway of this fucking hut. It ain't thirty dollars a month. It's six is six cents a week. Bitch. For just six cents a week, bro. That's all it takes. Oh, yeah, for six cents. It used to be six cents a week. So, six cents a week. That's all it was. See, but you, y- y- y'all, but see y'all, y'all, y'all see these what? jokes that y'all, y'all doing now? Yeah, you wait, 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 when Trigger Mike came up here and said that what they see us projecting over here and they come over here and they see it as a fucking, that's how they're really living and they look down upon how it is over here with our culture, you ain't had no fucking problem when he was saying that shit just not a lie. Nope. Because you agree with him, huh? So that's why I'm no, making No, I don't agree with him. Because I, hold up. Because think about me and him grew up in two different households. He, because let me tell you, because let me tell you about a different than I did, so I can't speak from what you so 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 th- and this is the fucking problem. This is the fucking problem that I have. But hold on, if you have that perception of black people, if you have that perception of black people about how they do entertainment, and then you come over here and you focus on those said black people that may be living that way and not focusing on the positive that we have in our culture and our community, because I don't come from that trash and shit. I may be ignorant. Up on this fucking panel, but I was raised in a two parent household. I'm not a bastard. My family is well educated. They do good for themselves. I was raised up right. You see what I'm saying? So when Wait. people talk about the black community in my eyes and they talk about this vagabond, bad, Neanderthal, sluggish, lazy shit, that triggers me. It makes me but angry. Because what the fuck problem? are you talking about? It's no, not um, the majority of it. It's hey, not yo. the majority of us. Hey, yo. I didn't hey, say yo. majority. Hey, there is something. I see those things around you, though. You know, hey, yo, you got to consider. Go Man, let him go, Hemp. Let him do it, Hemp. Let him do it. Go ahead, Hemp. What, what were you saying, Hemp? I'm saying you're making it. Go ahead, tell him, Hemp. I can't even hear you. Hold on. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Let me. Let me. Make, make, go ahead. We're going to get to the bottom of some shit tonight because it, Bill is right about one thing, though. Africans are elitists, man. The fuck we come over here to be anything else but we're elitists. Of course, because you're the elite of the elite that get over here. No, 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 Especially no, no, no. Hold on, let me, let me explain it. Though. Let me explain it though. Let me explain it. Though. When you come here, think about it, Bill. When you come here, you gotta yeah. choose a side. Who you gonna be? Oh, yeah, like? you definitely gotta pick a side. How do I want exactly? How do I want people to view me as a, a dark person? Do I want to view right. them to view me for my education? 
the way I take care of my kids. I don't want to be a good citizen. I want to be the best citizen. I want to be the model citizen. There is no, right. I'm going to tell you right now, just the way I live my life, I ain't got no problem being doxxed on fucking Front Street. My credit is A1. You see what I'm saying? My salary is A1. My education is good. You see what I'm saying? So that's the life that we want to, we are elitists by nature. And, and what I wanted to say to your point was, you ain't never heard. I don't think you've ever heard a black elite person have a problem with a bunch of Africans. They don't have problems. Okay, right, him. Okay, him. I can I can respect that. I can respect that. I can respect that. I can respect that okay. one notion. He finally okay. said something that I could agree with him. I'll give him that one. All right. Go All right. Ahead. So for well, me, let, let, let chaotic get in. Go ahead, chaotic. Right, no, I'm just listening to you guys now, man. You know, we pretty much said everything tonight. Yeah. I'm just waiting on Trump 2024. Just waiting on the last, you know, last car, man. Oh but look, one one of the reasons I was going <clears throat> a little hard on on brother Illa earlier is because I went through that phase that he's going through right now. You know what I'm saying? That pro-black, you know what I'm saying? Make everything black and all that. I kind of went through that phase or whatever. But this this is what changed my perspective on that whole thing. So one night I was invited to a little set to ch sit down and, and chill and we discuss, discuss different topics or whatever. And I brought up the, the uh, specific topic how all right, we notice how all other immigrant groups, rather Chinese, Korean, uh, <clears throat> Ethiopian, uh, most Islamic faith people, they have a they have an economy that they can refer back to back home here. They bring their economy here and continually, right? So I brought up the simple question is. All right, so if all of them could do that, why can't we link back to our African people, our African uh, cousins or uh, relatives, and do the same thing? And everybody looked at me crazy. That's like, what? What do you mean? Like, how, how? What are you talking about? So the fact that they couldn't even get that simple, they couldn't even understand that simple thing, that made me understand a lot about the whole disconnect and and you know what I'm saying and downfall of African Americans in 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 America, because if you look at other other um immigrant or you know what I'm saying uh, immigrants, they have they have an upper hand on us because they have at the end of the day they have a, a, a people sending stuff back to them. Think about when you go to the uh, Chinese stores the. Uh, the Arab mm -hmm. stores. They have all hey, stuff. Hey, hey, well, I guess the question is, how would we do that? Hey, yo, we don't know. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on. We don't. We See, don't know. We don't know, just, no, we don't know what countries we come bring from. Up the question of why don't we try to do that? Well, you well, we couldn't because, because there's, there's asking, nobody that. It's real. Hold quick. on. There's, there's there's nobody oh, to send, there's nobody to send it to, right? Thank you. No, it is no, but it's it's a it's a bunch of it's a bunch of like we have. It's a bunch of countries on the West Coast, right? So they're sending it back to their families. Let me ask you another question. But it's a it's, it's circulating. Let me, let me ask you another question. Do you believe that Africans sold Africans? Of course. So who? Do, why the fuck will we send it back to them? That's not the point. The point. No, is no. You, you asked the oh question, right? So this is what this is how people would break it down. We don't know what country it is, and then. We got dispelled. If you believe that sentiment, I'm saying we got dispelled by those people. Why would we send it back? That hold that on. would be a that would be a logical response from people. But hold on, of course, okay. what I what I'm talking about the question that I'm raising, of course, it will start from people like me, Trigger Mike, Osa, people who are actually descendants. We actually have ties back home or whatever. So, so but then what if you I can't get people to get on the on the program mm -hmm. with me. Oh. Then what do we have? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a, so you would get um chaotic in them. You wouldn't get us, right? Which also yeah, guess you get what it, why you guess get what chaotic. It, in them. Guess I what it does? This. Guess what it does? Creates another divide that we said we don't want. All of a sudden, hold yep. on. What, what you mean? How? Well, because you saying you cause, cause because then there's another. It's another thing. Oh well, nigga, we can send our shit back. You can't. <laughs> I mean, like it, it, it. That's how niggas. No, be no, no, no. Mm -hmm. My whole point was because 
again, remember, I'm I'm a mixed breed, so I'm I'm in between. So the way I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it from both perspectives. So mm-hmm. maybe that's a flaw. I mean, I, I guess that may be a flaw because I'm I'm stuck in between. It's kind of like a biracial person who's half white, half black. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at it from, hey, we can get this ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? If only we can get ties to back home. I know I have aunties who make clothes and make products and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I I don't specialize in that in that in that no, field. There's no so, you know yo, so as, you know, as a black as a black man, there's no benefit to me in that whatsoever. Sending anything back to Africa, right? All my family. No, no, here, we're not talking right? about sending stuff back to Africa. We're are you saying about, investing in it, right? You saying sent? What do you? I mean, hold you know. on. So, think about think about a majority of the the products we get in America. Where do they come from? Uh, China. All right, exactly. How many tiny towns in America? How many Chinese stores and and uh, salons and whatever they have in America? They they run their products through their old stores. That's my okay. point. Uh-huh. So if we, if for let, let me give a good example. So we we see a lot of uh black women now. They open the boutiques and stuff. If we can link these black women who like the, who hold the boutiques with Nigerian women or you know what I'm saying Ghanaian women who make clothes or whatever, it's it's a a big rise in people wearing African clothes here, wearing use wearing African uh cloth here. If we can mix them up, what what could they do for our community? So wait, wait, what you're saying is if we want to start something, we should get our wholesale product from Africa as opposed to the the, the gooks or or the the the, the sand niggas. Exactly, exactly. Pricing that, that, caught, that starts the economy. I know, but it's you have to be realistic pricing. about pricing, shipping, the, and then even like the structure in those countries, right? That was mentioned by chaotic. Can we actually get consistent product from those places at what cost? You know, I get what? that, but it's everything starts. But that's a right. lot, though. But that's a I lot, though. That. I, I know, but that. see, here's the thing: like when you're talking about business and things of that nature, we we have to be realistic. Um, for yep. instance, I started a clothing line, right? I searched all over, right? Um, and I had to go to Pakistan because I still have a cost benefit analysis based on retail costs and my wholesale costs. I have to keep a particular margin to make any money. So to go to Africa, it didn't make sense from a business standpoint. And oftentimes people get stuck between the rock and a hard place because you're using your liquid capital to start your business as opposed to investment. Well, how I, have clothing, I have a clothing company, AO. Go ahead. I can back up everything I'm saying. Going to Africa wouldn't make sense. You, I got lucky. I found, I found some people domestically um, who make mm-hmm. clothes, and I got, we worked some some stuff out, and the price made sense. And my profit shoot shot through the stratosphere with what I'm doing, you know. But yeah, Pakistan and Vietnam, China, they're pricing themselves out of the market, and plus they just their business practices these days ain't what it needs to be. We just gotta be realistic, but, you know. Yeah, but he's I, right. No, Realistically, I, he Africa, it. it'll be. And then look, when you start getting stuff shipped over here, oh, and you, they have to go through customs, bro. I got stuff still stuck in customs from four years ago. Yeah. Okay, so it, you got to yeah. look at that. If it's coming from certain co- countries in Africa, they're going to want to investigate. And as a business, you don't have time for that. You need your product here so you can sell it. So mm-hmm. how? Oh, all right. So y'all say all that, and I get it. I understand where you're coming from. But how did any of these other cultures start getting their stuff over here? Nigga, you talking about generations upon generations of exactly. buildings. Exactly. Everything, everything takes time, in a, bro. In a time, everything takes time. In a time, in a time like the Industrial Revolution and shit, nigga. You talking about a point in time in history where shit just started <laughs> blowing up. Right now, these places that they're talking about right now have been established for decades, nigga. So, You're actually talking about trying to break a mold in a system that's been fucking chokehold, like chaotic has been saying. Niggas run the when I say niggas, it's the niggas that run the shit. Niggas run shit. They run this shit. To get into these businesses, it is blockades, it is everything. It's a whole bunch of tape, letters, fucking emails, dealings, and everything that go into this shit. These <laughs> niggas have been building upon these things for decades. Do you, do we do right. we, hey yo let me ask you a question like a, just a simple question Cal, you can jump in 
do we even fuck with each other like that? I was no. just about to say that. I was just about to say that. So with that, what, what y'all just said, I don't want to hear that argument about uh, money circling it, circulating in the black community. It, it's and, and, and nobody it's, that it's, shit. It's, that's a that's a dead argument. That's a dead that's a dead topic. If you saying you saying all that what you just said, then why why are we why are we arguing that? Nigga, I ain't never complaining about no money circulating, nigga. Like, what, what is that? Who's, well, the well Steve, so here's, here's the thing. All right, like, now, nah, I got to do this real quick. I've hired over 60 black men to do a job to allow them to get HVAC degrees and things of that nature. So when y'all start talking money and all that and really what the community is doing, niggas ain't outside. This is the problem, right? right? And the chaotic made a lot of awesome points about, you know, what we do, the industries and things of that nature. You're right. We don't. We we're not in those industries. But I'm in an industry that I can actually help people and put them in place, which is actually the key. We do a lot of talking, but who is actually outside about what but niggas exactly, should and should not see, do? But help. But you gotta look at it. You are outlier. That's why people respect you so much in the, in the first place. Because we know you out here working. We see how you talk. We see how you move. But is that the general? We have to make that a general thing. We have to make that a a, a, a common thing, and it's not. Yes, it is. Where nigga, is most start, niggas, most what? African Americans are out here working. Nigga, what is you talking about? Bro, what they the doing their thing, bro. bro what are you talking, talking about? about no more. Look, on Go ahead, chaotic. <laughs> hey yo, um, you know, in my opinion, right? I think that the only two African countries that could produce products cheap would probably be nigeria or ghana yeah other than that i, I think a lot of, i think a lot of countries in africa are too unstable like it's too unpredictable right so true you know you, you got to deal with a friendly government you have to you know it's all types of embargoes um it's like possible. i said when it comes to it, customs it would, yeah it, it would be possible <laughs> if if you know like for example ghana would become like a china in terms of you know, producing a lot of the planet's, um, you know, products or whatnot. But, you know, a place like China is under, you know, pretty much a dictatorship. So they wouldn't have a problem with, with um, you know, any outside influences disrupting uh, production lines. But, you know, like a place like, for example, Burkina Faso, right, it was, it, it's landlocked. But if, uh, if it was on a coastline, you know, you're, you're talking about a government that literally in two years will have a coup d'etat. So that might disrupt production, right? So that's one of the problems that I see with um, like a place like Pakistan. I mean, you know, that's there's no problems in Pakistan. So you, you did bring up something really good with that. But yeah, it's, it's real complicated as in terms of in terms of why certain groups of people get to produce things and why certain groups of people can't. It's not that the African can't. It's that are you willing to offshore your business in ghana like will apple offshore their business in ghana right mm -hmm. and probably not but they would do it probably in um china right you know mm -hmm. so yeah that's not you have to get into yeah yeah you have to get into geopolitics when it comes yeah, to this man like point. you do i mean because the stability of a country means everything again you don't want to be in a situation and i've had yeah. this conversation with, with other business owners i get it i you know have to, where you, you where you have to like Okay, they made purchases. Everything's going 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 cool, but they have to now get on a flight and take an international flight there just to put money in the hands of somebody. Yeah, to get their product shipped to back to America. Like they literally had to get up and in person grease somebody's palm. Well, let's let's do this though from yeah. customs. Let's, let's so do it's, this it's, real quick. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it no, can, all, it all that shit is true. But in terms of what Ao is saying, right? How I shop things as much as I can. If there's like a black store, whatever the case is, I would go there, right? So I, if I could source those things, if I was still in that industry, I would concede that AO. If I could do it from an African country, then I think we, I would, and I think that we should, right? Because we gotta buy it from somebody. Yeah, I, I, I could see that like too. Me, you know what I'm saying? So I'll do it. Good. I think to to see uh, chaotic point, and this is obviously deeper. Ghana would probably be the only one I could see. Yeah. Even Nigeria would, you know, just but I could see Ghana. That I think that was that. That's that's fair, you know. All it and takes is one to start. It and does. Yes. Yeah. This is yeah. how this how everything works. Hey, you started, nigga. I give you sixteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars. 
You better no, watch out. Like my auntie, she makes some fire clothes. You know what I'm saying? But you can't. But but if you, uh, what would your your daddy from Nigeria? Yeah. Am I gonna get my whole sixteen back, or is it gonna be short? Oh, no. look, nigga, you scammed. You ain't never seen it. It ain't my area, bro. Phone number about to be <laughs> blocked. <laughs> 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 my area, bro. Phone number like, about to be blocking everything, yeah. <laughs> like, subscribe, tell a friend, to tell a friend, hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most, man. Damn, Abraham with the two dollars. We need conversations like this. Thanks, Henry. I think we got through it decently, man. Just gems with the two houses. Granville, awesome. Keep excitement going. Great guy. Yo, daddy, plug with the five houses. Nobody can speak for us or me. It's best y'all do genealogy to find out who your family is. Man, Gerald is a lost African. I'm an ancient American. Fuck out of here. <laughs> MC Heavy Tips with the Files. Get the likes up or get pegged. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just Gems with the two dollars says, What is the culture for non black? Just Gems with the two dollars says, Please ask why are they here? Why did they run? Well, Gway, for instance, it was a civil war. Sounds like a good reason to get up out of there <laughs> if you ask me. Um, MC Heavy Tips with the five dollars says, America beat a country that eats beans for breakfast. We won. <laughs> Yo, daddy, plug with the two dollars. The police and white people, not a barometer for our experience. Just and gems with the five breakfast is European, it ain't American. Just yeah. gems for the five dollars says, When you get pulled over, you start talking your language, so the police know the difference. The Africans come up and align with the white folks on purpose. Why? <coughs> Romello with the two dollars says, "Damn, Granville on your neck." Pause. Just Jim with the five dollars says, "Granville, what is your cash app? I'll get it from DJ Hamp. Even chaotic, put them down on the other show." <laughs> Ariane with the two dollars says, "Why y'all arguing with EU is building? The EU is building a mil military." Just Jim with the two dollars man, Gerald is not black. Just Jim with the five dollars says, "People are just saying what other people say. What is the great culture Africans have?" If they have a culture, why did they leave? Abraham with the five dollars says, Black Americans have a culture, Black American culture. We did so much for American culture. Chaotic said his best in a previous podcast. Ranger with the five dollars says, Y'all Africans wouldn't be here if it wasn't for FBA's fighting. Mr. CYP with the five dollars says, Our top 10% would do better for Nigeria than their top 10% have done for them or us. Naf with the 10 ounces. Hamp, the part of the conversation that is missing, African Americans fought for and yes, feel entitled to, but refusing to continue to work for. However, black, however, foreign black and others only see the opportunities. Well, wait, would you say that people come over, they acknowledge the work that black Americans put in in, in the past or no? Fuck no. Wait. No. Really? Um I don't think a lot of Africans even think about that. To you tell think you. they should, though? I, I think they just come on the mindset of, you know, trying to make life for themselves. Okay. That's so what I've been telling you. So, okay. Yeah. So, you're saying there's no consideration of how it got here to this point, civil rights and all that good stuff? Nah, I don't I don't think a lot of them care about do, all of that. Do, do most mm. African Americans even think about that? Yeah. Yes, yes, every day. Yes, nigga, I just said crazy to you, nigga. Hold I on, made you want to do something. The reason why, Ao, you've yes. been fighting for two hours about why we care about history. Who though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I'm talking but, about the youth. I'm, I'm, I'm referring <laughs> to the youth. That's right. I'm and this, on, this is Gway's fault. She just sitting there, just letting Ao just windmill. I'm referring. Why you ain't playing the little video? I, I don't see the need of the, the the. I don't think this is going to be solved. To be honest, I'm just here for the conversation. But I don't think anything is going to change. People are going to feel the way they feel either way. Well, well, so wait. If, whatever let's... best you, if an African American you you feel like like you, you work with them. If they don't no, no, like, no, no, you... no, wait. That that's that's not. I think that's a bit of a cop out because if you think about it, let's say you understand where somebody's come from, right, and what they've experienced. Does empathy become more or less at that juncture? Yeah, but I don't think anybody cares. So but, no, hold on. But, but but just the question though, if you understood, like like for instance, the, what you went through, like once we learned about it, I'm like, damn, you know, at the very least, you get that moment, like that's that's yeah, you know but that's you, that's that's only you though, him. But like, does empathy go up? You know, for you? That, that's you, you, most people. Most people would be like, oh, it's not our fault, or oh, is this, or oh, is that. So 
Like, I don't really care if they do or don't. I just give my experience and move on. I, I don't really, I don't really, I mean, I come for the conversation and stuff, but to be honest with you, things will not change. So I think people just need to do what's best for them. Man. So, Hemp, do you, do you believe that most African-Americans today give them about our history? Um, yes. No. Yes. I, and the Hemp, reason, the yes. reason why, yes. And yes. Re yes. And simply put, who's, the, what's the largest generation? What you mean? Who has the most people? Africa? No, the generation, the baby boy. Oh. So by by nature of that, with them being the most people, you know they care about history. I don't uh, think that. I don't think a large part of the baby boomers were were kind of there a little. You know what I mean? Like they parents literally went through it. So y'all have seen they, they, they live so because of that. Yes, they lived. You know they were they around in segregation. Time. Yeah, segregation was still going on while they, they were around. They, were born, I, I they, they don't even teach. They don't even teach. You are fucking lie. You lie right now. I'm not gonna let him say that. I'm not gonna let him say that. That's a fucking lie, bro. My mother and father were old enough to still know what colored fucking water phones was when they couldn't walk in a motherfucking restaurant when they had to go to the fucking side. My parents are old enough to know that shit. Yeah, so the man, fuck is you talking about? I'm told my man. fucking history, bro. Granville, like, Granville, 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 you, you got to understand. Hey, yo, you have to say it twice. I said baby boomers. That would be equivalent to who you just named. He has to yeah. acknowledge that considering that's the largest portion of our population. And then he would, yeah, be true. He, would he would just have to concede it. So and yeah. baby boomers, that's above us. That's above us, right? They were born from 47 to 58 or something like that. Okay. They just there's a lot of them motherfuckers, right? Yeah, the they is, they start like, fucking after World War II and shit like that. Right. And the thing is, me, I was born in the in the first generation. I'm a member of the first generation born outside of segregation. Before yeah. me, everyone was born in segregation. Like this wasn't a long time ago. All right, I'm gonna read these. Just gems with the ten ounces. Granville is talking the truth. Why did you come come to America? Y'all ain't doing nothing over here, African. Y'all do y'all do say what you want, especially around white people about black people. Who are you married? Bloody tie with a ten ounces. Yo, stamp. Do any of them know the difference between Hamite and Shemite? I'll wait. I bet Hamp knows. Get spiritual. We are two different people. Hmm. That's some illa illa shit right there. It's biblical. <laughs> Omega Green with the five dollars says a tether is generally an immigrant who fled. Their homeland that uphold the stereotypes or tenets of white supremacy that targets foundational black Americans. Hey, yo. <coughs> <coughs> yo. <laughs> yo, daddy with the five dollars says, Trigger, we don't go to Africa antagonizing people if we want to. If we want to Africa with our attitude, we would die. Tethers cosplaying proves we have culture. Mr. CYP with the five dollars says, Black people are the richest non-white minority in the world. Add most influential and boom, there is the jealousy. You want to be like Mike, not Mikalu. Mm. T.O. with the father says, that's in the north in the Muslim community, which is half of the country. Why they're trying to change it to Sharia law. Mm. Gary with the father, he talking about um, the marriage rate in uh, Nigeria, I think. Uh, for the young girls gary grant with the five canadians said american blacks had great culture in the 30s 40s 50s 60s the fastest growing group in the world why when we had less freedom we did more just jim with the 20 ball <laughs> says they don't like black people but what do they come but they do they come and get grants yes they get married at 14. old men marry 14 year olds don't let them make it cute they sell their 14 year olds nasty men Oh my salute with the Shout 50 yeah. Uh big O says, When was the last time you guys were home? It's more like America than you guys are speaking of. I can only speak of Kenya and Gambia and Senegal. In Egypt, the West African population is in Madun. How you say that? Medina Tul Nasser. Um, I just landed from Nuba and Aswan. Salute O. Red Ion with the 20 ball says, my memory is fading away since the death of Jerry Springer and it looks like, and it looks of KK and mass media programming state and globally is null and void. Maybe what I need is CT to turn me into a modern man, Hannibal with shiny silverware. Fatty with the ellipsis. Damn. 
Mr. Grant. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. But the 20 ball said, This is for Chaotic Sermon. Big up DJ Ham and the panel. Salute, Mr. Grant. Omega Green with the final says, CT has a point. FBA should have should be infiltrating and dominating all the industries he mentioned instead of pontificating endlessly about opinionated matters. Omar Smith with the final says, Good night. I have to take my lazy black American ass to bed. <laughs> I go to work at 4 a.m. <laughs> LOL. Cook is. Cook is from the Gambia and she's cool. Omar Smith for the fellas. The super chat missed because I was up switching keyboard from Arabic to English. <laughs> My bad, Ham, because it's going F you around trying to read it. Nah, yeah, I just skipped it, bro. I appreciate you though. Bob with the fellas. Osa individual self esteem built over supposed past accomplishments is like thinking you are the shit because your team won the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, <laughs> salute the Lord for gifting five memberships. Buzzing, buzzing, birds, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. Bob with the five dollars. Go secure a line of credit on the basis your ancestors built the pyramids. Yo, daddy, the plug with the two dollars. Why we gotta be pressed like immigrants? I'm at home. As Abe with the ten dollars. Chaotic, you can invite Be Brave for five hours to talk down about black people and you giggle. Chaotic, you said African countries are horrible. What info did Africans bring to help? What makes African women strong? <laughs> you, want to, you want to reply to that? I have, I have no idea. My brain is... I, I, I don't know. What it's over with. You just here so you don't get fined? Reese with the five dollars says, many Caribbeans just blend in with FBA because we look alike and have the same surnames even dj cool hurt said many in his era didn't know he was jamaican yeah we we grew up together bob with the two thousand hemp is trans fraternal he's a kappa tonight hell no <laughs> <The> fuck <laughs> never lauren mack with the five dollars chat i think we need a poll of who winning thus far who y'all got i don't know man i think the bout has been been pretty good Nas with the five dollars. Black Americans are naturally more cynical opposed to obedient in, in the system. There's pros and cons. America was founded on rebellion, not conforming. As A with the town says, the advantage Africans have is that they are non-African American. They know Africans are pathetic, so the white man feels sorry for them. Gway told us about her history. They do not want to go back to their country's lies. Hood Haitian with the five dollars. Negroprian liberal niggas will make any excuse not to get money and be successful. Those dudes are not respected and laughed at down here in Miami. T.O. with the final says, the one side trying to force a narrative on how Africans negatively view black Americans on how we better, but who been talking down on who though? Oh, force. Okay. The will with the final says, Arab and Chinese immigrants don't take on the identity of American blacks. That's why, Trigger. Hmm. One man's voice with the fellows. Africans would not be here if it wasn't for black Americans fighting for the rights that we did. Salute to <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Troll talk big shit with the 20 bosses. Granville has no intelligent argument. Too much cussing and no real points. Put him in the bathroom. Ariane with the five dollars says to trigger Mike's point. That's why I said, I guess I got it. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Ariane with the final says the trigger Mike point. That's why I said the trans-Saharan slave trade took place, but we have no smoke for the Arabs. We took in Islam like Christian. Reese with the ten ounces. My ancestor John Anderson was from from the from was a doctor from Scotland who worked on slave plantation in Jamaica before owning some some himself. Without him and a couple others, I wouldn't exist in in exist. An African is like ninety nine percent nine point nine percent African. Billy Goat with the two dollars says, smile, Gway. <coughs> she was just laughing, right? As A with the five dollars says, Granville, the only real, only real here. He ain't scared. He is telling it like it is. Africans have an agenda, and they watch young 13-year-olds get abused. Triple Black was popping with the two dollars says, inconvenient truth. Elon Musk is African. Truth Elite Chief will be coming a member. What up, buzzing, buzzing, birds, flip a dozen, dozen. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. Uncle Pops with the tell says, stop, bro. Our culture is straight trash. <laughs> As Abe with the tell says, African get divorced too. Don't forget, we, 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 you on TikTok. You can't lie now because the internet has told the truth. We see your woman talk crap to men. Granville 100. Mike, why didn't your father feed the kids? 
Black King with the two dollars says Marcus Garvey already tried that. Omar Smith with the ten dollars says right now one and a half one and a half acres going for eight hundred in in the Gambia. The Gambia one and twelve. Oh, one and one twelve. Yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. One and one twelve acres for going for eight hundred eight hundred what dollars in the Gambia. The Gambia is declared an in Islamic state. Allah Akbar. Ayo, hey, I guess you just have to get it in the right circles. As able to tell us, Granville, you're amazing. Really touched my heart. Ariane with the two dollars says, "If the U.S. went through civil war, um, will y'all leave?" Hmm. Ariane with the five dollars says, "Jamaica used used to say we wanted to be them at dance hall parties when we just love the music." Paul Mooney, everybody want to be a nigga, nobody want to be a nigga. Tracks with the five dollars says, "I was." In Lapeep's discussion with Chaotic about a similar conversation, in one line I still remember was blacks are still fighting and Africans are winning. Mm -hmm. Facts. Brother, brother, brother. Did you say facts about Y'all niggas, y'all niggas not Africans winning, bro. Y'all ain't America. winning shit, nigga. Y'all been in on America. that country for thousands. Nigga, y'all been on that country since the days. It's in the time, and y'all ain't broke that bitch. Nigerians, I wanted. I'm shut, shut that shit educated, up. Shut that shit up. I mean, in America, educated America. my motherfucking ass. Nigga, y'all country as a whole is still a piece of shit. Y'all talking about all that Look, education chaotic, and all that chaotic, fucking chaotic. women. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all don't even earn. Y'all don't even own y'all mineral rights, nigga. Y'all don't even own y'all mineral rights over in that bitch. Y'all don't own nothing. Y'all ain't development. They ain't developed nothing over there. Nothing, nigga. What you, what you winning, winning at, nigga? You win, you winning on American soil, nigga. Congrats, nigga. The two percent of you that's here, nigga. The two percent of you, the two percent of you that's here, nigga. Y'all winning, nigga. And then by two generations, y'all motherfuckers are gonna realize that y'all fucking African anymore. Hey. Y'all sure gonna be just over here like us, saying they African American, nigga. I just gotta chill, right? Cause if, hey yo, let me ask you a question. If no. if if the Africans are winning, that means we all winning, right? Say that again. If the Africans are winning, then we all winning, right? Not not based on this conversation. Well, I'm asking <laughs> you now. Now you now you got an opportunity. Me, look, to me, but hey, yo, you gotta is, sleep. You gotta slow down. Do y'all well, 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 hey, yo, here's the on to a lot of things. Just let it fly. Just let it water off your back. Hey, yo, here's here's the thing, right? You guys, you yelled out facts. Right, yeah. but you were just saying we should all go invest in Africa, right? Yeah. So at the, at what point, like I'm trying to understand, like what is the what are we trying to achieve? You know what I mean? The, if anything, the comment was saying Africans are winning. He was he was he was talking about in America. That's that's what we was talking about. That's why I mm -hmm. say it's facts. Mm -hmm. It is facts. Okay, and you, but you say so by proxy, are you saying that uh, African Americans aren't winning? No, I I didn't say that. I just say he just said Africans are winning, mm -hmm. and I, I'm I'm just going to assume he was referring to in America, and I said facts because that is facts. Oh, so you were saying you didn't agree. you see the statement right? Go ahead, go back to it. Yeah, it says blacks are still fighting and and Africans yeah. are winning. Yeah. So you said facts. Yeah. Okay. So I took it as he was saying. Africans in America, because I, I don't see why they would talk about Africans in Africa. They, I'm pretty sure they don't know Africans, Africans in Africa. Okay. So he said African Americans are fighting, and Africans are still winning. Okay. I mean, our Africans are winning, and that's a true statement. African Americans are doing better than y'all on this bitch too. We crushing y'all niggas, stomping on y'all fucking neck, nigga, and not letting up. Does that Man. make you feel good? Like, does that solve? Who was that, Joe Spoke? Nah, nah. I'm just, I'm, I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun right now. Please, I, I, I don't care. I don't. I mean, I don't care. You know, this is just a conversation. Once I leave here, I go back to my real life. So, like, I mean, okay. if that do anything for you, I mean, good for you if it work out. But I don't think uh, hating Africans is going to change anything in your life. So, when did I? When did I ever say I hate great content? I told you, it's just content. When did I ever say I hated Africans? <laughs> Go back and watch the whole conversation when you're done. When him post, I just talk a lot of shit. I talk a lot of shit to everybody. No, that sounded like it came from within. I know you just met me for the first time today. I know. Mm. No, I mean I've seen you on the show before. You I mean, know what's still? You know what I be, do there. Just to be clear, right? One thing we did here today is um, seemingly 
uh everybody still champions the divine in some way shape or form that's a fact no. i personally don't you did L, which is fine <laughs> <laughs> remember when you yelled? Ayo, remember, remember, hey, yo, remember when you? Ayo, 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 ayo. First of all, let me tell you, you know I love you, right? That, I know they get you to calm down. You just yelled out facts. Remember? <laughs> it's okay, yo. It's okay. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> look, I'm just like grandpa. I'm just talking shit. I'm nah, just nah, that like nigga got selective. Nah, saying. nah, that nigga got selective memory. You hear me? That's what it is. My thing, my my whole thing with it is this. Honestly, you're gonna come to this country. Final thoughts. Cool. Come conform to the American way of life. Speak fucking English. Okay, all the time, 100. percent And humble yourself when you talk about Black Americans. Go tell that humble to the rest yourself. of the world in America. Why are you like yeah, no, his, 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 speak speak I'm what? I'm speaking on uh, my experience. Is that it? Well, no, it no, was, but um, my experience, in my experience, I've never walked up to an African and started talking shit. I don't know anyone who's done that either. But every time I've seen this kind of conversation happens, it's the Africans who instigated. They initiate. The, y'all fire the first shot. That's what I've experienced. Okay. You can't say no because it's my experience, Ayo. Well, when you start so, no, telling, you was in the conversation. You was a part of the conversation. So my thing is, my, that's what I'm saying. You just said they ain't so. speaking English. Oh, so you, you, know you ain't about to man drop. You ain't about to jump, man drop. Chill out, chill out. Let, let, let the man have his conversation. Don't let me open yeah. up, sir. Don't let me talk. Let the man say what he got to say. My thing is, uh, and uh, listen, I'm I'm this whole thing like, okay, you want to come here and get American citizenship, you should give up all of your culture and leave it back there. You're an American citizen now. Be an American. That's not what your American government That's says. my thing. That's my thing. So what is American That's culture? What is American culture? That's my culture? thing. What is hmm? American culture? Guns, American culture is twenty. That's what it is. No, 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 no. American no, no, culture no, no, no. is twenty. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The American I'm culture kidding. is the opportunity for you to win. I'm the kidding. opportunity I'm kidding. for you to win. Like you, when you said facts. Africans no, no, no. are Israel winning. Just like you said, when Africans are winning, you said facts. American culture is giving foreigners the opportunity to win. That's American culture, nigga. To give you what? somewhere to go to so better yourself. Because you no, ain't got shit win. back where you from. Why is everybody this is winning? What, then? That's the this is why I'm not gonna. You have the opportunity. Opportunity, nigga. Opportunity is an equality, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? I asked, what is American culture? Go. No, I'm not gonna answer that. It's gonna hold start a whole you can't, conversation. You can't. And I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna no go, to, thing. go to sleep. Yeah. Huh? It's no such thing, bro. It's what? It's no such thing. No such thing as American culture. American what is American culture? culture? Okay. Come on, bro. Stop American it. culture. Stop it, yeah. There's no, no such thing, thing as American culture. culture. American. So all culture? so all of black culture is not American America? culture. Yeah, he said all America. All of black culture America. is not American culture. So everybody black culture in is American is culture. Practice the same culture. Have you ever heard of football? Thank you. Hell, how how often do you be on here arguing with these niggas between what's better between football and, and basketball? I don't so argue. It's, alone... The consensus is it's basketball, but you said culture. I said. I mean, culture. you said it's football. Everybody knows football is the best thing ever. Well, hold on. <laughs> but culture will, will assume that everybody lives under the same umbrella. Everybody doesn't. That's what makes yes, America they do. America. Nigga, they but that's fuck. Go ahead, hold go, on, ahead, hold go, ahead on. go ahead, chaotic. Go ahead. Hey, yo, um, <laughs> I'm a little bit tired here. Do you consider uh, industry like, like you know, things that made America great, such as steel, such as our unique freedoms that we have here, like freedom pick of speech, freedom, pick up trucks, freedom of speech, freedom <laughs> of the press? Do you know a lot of countries across the planet don't have? For example, in preach, China, chaotic, yeah, you know, in China, you can't say anything about the CCP without being in prison, right? So we have a lot of freedoms here. We have a lot of industry here. Uh, you know, the Industrial Revolution started here. You know, um, I don't, I don't think a steel worker would, and respectfully, Ao, I don't think a steel worker, and it's tens of thousands of them, would appreciate what you said. I don't think a police officer here or a firefighter here. We have our culture is rich in our systems, infrastructure, government. 
it's not just sports and entertainment, man. But but you know that's just from my perspective. So I don't I don't know if you consider that part of culture. So I don't I don't know. Do you consider do you consider manufacturing a part of American culture? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Whew. But hold on. I don't think you understand my overall point. Okay, go ahead. He said American culture, and I asked him to tell me what American culture is, and he could not do the, do so. It ain't that I can't. You, I just don't you want name. To. I don't want to be on here another four hours. Hold up. You named the aspect of American culture, but oh, that, actually, that's God. not even that's not even just to us. Other countries create steel and make steel and make skyscrapers too. So that's not something that that uh separates us to, from the rest of the it world. Has to be exclusive, or does it have to be originated? Yes, what is, that's what a culture is. No, that's it's what not. Culture, huh? No, it so isn't. then there's no point having. Hey yo, hey yo, slow down. Remember, yeah, remember, remember, remember. Trigger Mike was saying Nigerian cultures be overwhelmingly married, yeah. right? Remember, yeah. and hey yo, remember you was like this. Yeah. But guess what? People get married over here too, <laughs> and in it's an aspect. Yeah, it's an aspect in that culture. Hey yo, what I'm saying, look, did, you, did you take your did you take your nap? No, he didn't. Clearly, he went belly. He went belly. He went belly, dog. He went belly. He took his motherfucking beat down. He took his motherfucking beat down. He took his motherfucking beat down on the stream. That's his problem. Yeah, this is why they want to my overall point. My point is, you can't say American culture because America is made up of so many cultures. So it's no one culture. That, no, that that's not true. Whole, that's not true. America. That's it's not true. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. No, 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 no. Stop. We allow you to bring whatever who is we? you have over here. Nigga, America. 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 You America. Allow America. To bring it over here. America. The American. Nigga, I was, have, have, bro, I'm a you like you. With that. What are you talking about? Shut up. Nigga, you, you talk like you, you talk like, like you just stepped off a boat. Nigga, you talk you like you just stepped like off a motherfucking boat. Bro, I was born and raised in America. Y'all just talking at your well, ass. Fair right oh, okay, well, fair enough. Chill, then you man. Then you America, this nigga boy. America allows people from other people. That, 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 that is American people. culture, right? The capitalist system that CT mentioned. The fact that you come here and make something of yourself. The fact that it is a melting pot. That is American culture. We are different. America is different than the on. other countries for those specific reasons in which you just um acknowledge. But hell, what did Mandrea say though? He was saying they should come over here and accept this culture. Is that not what they mm -hmm. were coming over here for? What you just said? No, to come over here to get some of our culture. Bro, but you don't get like English. Bro, you just, but you don't get you, you know here's the thing. Hell, you, you got you got you, you got Hispanics come over about. here. You don't, you don't know, know how to have a about, hey, 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 yo, stop. We're trying to have a conversation. Just ease up. No, you want to have the conversation. Get out of here. Let's have one. I didn't want to ask you a question because this is what it was going to turn into. I'm trying to go to bed. No, man. it wouldn't have turned into if you had to answer the question. If you had to just answer the question, it wouldn't. We wouldn't even be no, here. Right no, no. It, 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 we have to answer the question. We'd be here another three hours. No, nope. dude. What I'm saying is, you know, foreigners come over here, don't speak the fucking language. To me, that's disrespectful as fuck. After to me. It's you anecdotal. I've seen Africans do it. I've seen Hispanic people do it. Asian people. I don't like it. I, like I said before, I singled myself out and said it's anecdotal before I made the statement. And after I made the statement, it's anecdotal, I know. But I don't like it. I don't like it. It's disrespectful. It's not a part of American culture. America don't speak Spanish. We don't speak whatever it is, whatever... Uh, our language is English. I'd like you to speak that. Though. I'd like you to learn to read English too. Holy shit. Is that so hard? You come to another person's house and you don't want to take your shoes off at the door. Humble yourself. And you want to argue with me about that for some odd reason. You don't see that as disrespect. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get the pushback. I don't. It's just like I said, people just don't put much thought into things. Don't worry about it. Or you just windmill it. One of the two. I don't know. Definitely Reese with the two dollars. Through John Anderson, I'm cousins to Kamala Harris, by the way. <laughs> Omar was popping with the ham. The Israelite brothers are over there doing all the construction. Muslims buying land and the Israelite brothers doing the construction. 800 US dollars. That's fucking crazy, bro. Does Jim with the two dollars. What is... <laughs> What is African culture? What is what is 
American. There's no such thing as African culture. African culture. I'm him with the ten dollars. Sex, money, and murder is American culture. God damn. <laughs> Just gins with the ten dollars. What is African culture? Gwei came and slept with. All right, man. God damn. Is this relevant? <laughs> damn. And trigger my. Get- for 13 years, wasn't even with an African American. So I don't know what that person's talking about. But he's from Liberia too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then trigger Mike' yeah. wife is Black American. Africa is winning and burning down bridges. Hump, hump. I'm guessing you didn't get the invitation. Big mention is awaiting paid fully oh. by our father. Oh, that's mm-hmm. your new name. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, but I don't know who he's talking about. <laughs> you look tired too. Shit, everybody tired. <laughs> that's your new name, bro. I'm man, not gonna tell you that. I'm not I think gonna I'm gonna get that. it. I think I'm gonna get up out of here, but yeah, I do want to get your final thought, man. We can get out of here. Uh, first off, uh, I just got word that this this kid who's a bench warmer who averages seven points a game scored 50 points tonight, Malachi, whatever. For who? The question I have is maybe the is the NBA weak? I, I, I've always thought this NBA was better. But I think that kind of proves that the NBA is trash now. That a bench warmer, because that's like BJ Armstrong if he played back in the nineties, if he scored sixty points. You know that. You know it's like how, how does a bench warmer who averages seven points scores fifty points? So I would love to do. I think tomorrow I'm going to talk about that on my show. Uh, my closing remarks: Salute to you, uh, GBG Ville, Ao Mandrell Gway, and of course him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You on the panel. Um, my, my closing remarks are. Whether you are Black American, whether you are an African, whether you are an Asian or an Oriental or Indian, whether you are Middle Eastern, the goal when you come to America is to be like the elites. You know, be like the elites. Now, I'm not saying Bill Gates is a great person, <laughs> but he's an awesome. Like a, but be like a Bill Gates. This, you know, f- forget all of the you know, questionable um, practices and things that he said about depopulation and all those things. But be like a Bill Gates, be like a Mark Zuckerberg, be be like a Steve Jobs or or uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Sundar Robert, at Robert Google. F. Smith. Robert F. Smith. Yeah, be like these people, but particularly be Western. I uh, you know embrace Western civilization, and on top of that, salute to you guys. Man, have a good one. <laughs> I see. Him. Yeah, I see Abandon those cultures from the past. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> Shout out to chaotic truth, man. <laughs> What's up, Gwei? Any final thoughts? Um, no. I mean, great show. Good to uh, come on and just you know have the conversation and stuff. But like I said, I don't think anything is going to change. So for me, it's just a conversation. I think that. People need to uh, move with people based on uh, character and not just skin color. So um, for me, it is what it is. You know, if Africans can get along with African American, kudos. If they can, I just think everybody just needs to do their own thing, to be honest. It's not worth the argument all the time, it's not worth the, the uh, insult all the time, it's not worth any of that. Everybody just do their own thing and keep it that way, you know, because nothing is going to change. People are going to feel the way they feel, and that just is, you know. Mm. So, but thanks for having me, him. Yes, ma'am. And you were late. All right. I'll see you later. Be safe. Right. Thank you, boy. <laughs> Mandrell. Mm-hmm. Mandrell. Any yeah. Thought? Yeah, final thoughts? Well, okay. It just whatever, man. Just don't be a dick. That's that's my advice to everybody. Just don't be a dick. You know, if you're it, the things that you went through AO as a kid, all kids went through. They just didn't joke about uh the other kids being African. Like they joked about me. Like when I would go to school, I was joked on about being black because I went to school with a bunch of white kids, mostly, you know what I'm saying? Mostly white kids. When I went home to my neighborhood, I lived around nothing but black people. So I got joked on for talking like a white boy, which is stuff I still, like, surprisingly, I get that to this day. People think I'm whitewashed simply because of the way I talk. As an adult, black African-Americans do that. 
So you can't pers- take that personally. You can't let that be a thing. Like, you're not going to get the sympathy plea with that. Kids are cruel. It's just how they are. And kids fight. It's just how they are. Just one of them things, man. Just Africans, don't look down on African Americans because honestly, you don't know anything about us from my observation. You don't know what got us here. You don't know what we still go through. You don't know why African Americans are the way that they are because you don't ask questions and you don't read and you don't do history. And if you don't do any of those things, keep your fucking mouth shut. Fuck you in the ear. You don't like what I'm got to say. I don't care. That's it, Hemp. Word. Hey, yo. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like I started out, I'm in between. I was born and raised here. I'm just like you, Nick. So <laughs> the only difference is I have direct lineage over there, over home. So I got a little more insight. So so automatically, I'm forced to be in between. And it's just been my life. You know what I'm saying? Like how you, you uh, Madre, how you brought up how I got picked on. That shit didn't do it. It made me tougher. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Part of that is what built me to what I am today. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, look, I, I saw people in the in the uh, comments talking about victim, victim. Not me. I'm not a victim. That's one thing I've strived not to be ever in my life is a victim or whatever. Like I learned from everything or whatever. But you no, know, um, hell, bro. Appreciate you finally, you know, doing this. I've been waiting on this jump about two months. No, no like two months. Spoke, <laughs> yeah, we spoke on this. You hit me up last minute. I was sipping this shit with my girl and shit. You hit me up like, man, let me ask this shit. Yeah, that was <laughs> my fault, about? bro. My fault. Hop on. I've been, I've been wanting to hop on. Hope that I can get on some more panels or whatever. Uh, Grandville, you a funny motherfucker too, little fat ass Nick. But uh, uh. I'm not gonna let a nigga with a receipt and hairline like that talk about me. So you got me fucked up. I see, I see Take your two syllable name, man. Your two syllable name, man. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You see them fucking forehead on you, boy? You fed as hell, bro. Stop it. Anyway, nigga, he ain't fuck builders and won't talk shit. But he ain't look instantly swollen, nigga. Like, um, I think, uh, Gwai said, like, I mean, it's 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 not much we can do, like. The only thing we can do is have more of these conversations like this or whatever. I see a lot of people are in, were entertained and like, were pleased with the whole overall conversation, whatever. I'm pretty sure a lot of people learn things they didn't know or whatever. So that's cool. Like, and that's why I, you know what I'm saying? I salute you, Hemp, for bringing up these conversations over and over. Like all the conversations you you bring up is it, they're, they're important. You know what I'm saying? So keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a supporter. I'm always gonna be here. And you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? When you want me on panel. I'm here. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. You've been locked in for a minute, bro. And it and it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? We and when you see, as you can see, we've been building up this community, you know. Yes, sir. So this shit been good, man. Granville, any final thoughts? Hey Irman, shout out the FBA here. My fucking people's my people's. I love all y'all, dog. I love all y'all. I ain't gonna never look down on y'all. You know what I'm saying? We in this shit together. I'm gonna rock with y'all forever. It don't matter what the motherfucker tell y'all, talk about y'all, none. I always got y'all motherfucking back. And that's just the way it is. I might talk shit about you, but they can't, dog. And that's just how it's going to be. Word. Yeah, man. I mean, there's definitely differences. Um, and especially my motherfucking woman. Because, look, I was waiting for y'all niggas to start about the women today. I was waiting for y'all. I could talk about them, but y'all can't. I was waiting for it. That's what I really wanted to dive into. But we didn't get that today. Shout out to my NBA woman here. Word. Yeah, I mean, I hope Grant, I hope Gway is wrong in saying things won't change. Maybe I'm being naive and all that. You um, are. I don't look at the whole continent of Africa as my people, right? It's a bunch of different people, just like Europe is a bunch of different people, exactly. right? Exactly. But there are certainly people in Africa that are related to us here. We need to identify that and understand shout out the big oh he's he's a muslim right i'm not but you can find common grounds because there's power in numbers you don't have to agree with everything sooner or later people have to go their own way right but if we can align right and we're better together because you got power in numbers right because they see us as the same we might be able to do something with that and galvanize in a different way to get better results you know but who knows it probably just you know fairy tale so Damn, man. 
it yeah. it could work. I think it's happening. It could. Uh, work. Y'all already had y'all final thoughts. No, no the brain. What I'm saying is, uh-uh, uh-uh, that's my it. final thought. I uh, don't don't. I don't need you to build on mine. Nope. Mm. Okay, another conversation, I suppose. <laughs> another another day. <laughs> hey, great. Hey, uh, Mandro. You know I don't stream on Thursdays. I'm a, I'm gonna text you. See, if we can chop it up tomorrow too. Okay. So yeah, pause, man. Say how? Yeah, you you know the tether niggas got cooked, right? They got fucking cooked, bro. They got cooked, shit. Nah, man. So then, who they got, got cooked, man? Hey, yo, and you, you, in, yeah, Ayo's you in ain't America. No I thought he was African the whole time. I'm like, like, yeah, me fool. You ain't me trick. Nah, that, 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 you got cooked, nigga. Barbecue chicken, nigga. Do I need to say it in other languages? El Cucamundo, bro, nigga. I How you say it in African? Pause. Pause. Pause, yo, hey, wrap this up, dog. Wrap this up, yeah, hey, drop me. Get me out this situation, hey, drop me, drop me, hey. <laughs> he wallet, the African yeah, wallet, man. the African wallet, nigga. <laughs> Hold on one second, let me just respond to one. But y'all niggas got cooked though, bro, and that's just the way it is. Nah, them niggas yeah. ran. I stayed, bro. I, I stood my ground, bro. You know what I'm saying? You still do, you nigga, nigga, just because you still go ground on me, you don't get your ass beat. Tell Zoe to shut up. <laughs> I had to respond to one of the brothers in the chat, not understanding, not reading all the books. Damn, yeah, man. This, this, Somebody this. said air foo foo. Yeah, I like, I like air fry foo foo. <laughs> Damn, man. But y'all did a good job, man. Um, I'm definitely going to chop this one up. Um, and then the one from yesterday was dope too. Um, and then I'm off tomorrow on Friday. I think I know exactly what I'm gonna um, break down because uh, there's been a lot of shit to break down um, this week. You know what I mean? So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Be safe. Do the right thing. Everybody in the chat, well, don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Let me make sure I don't got any more super chats before I get up out of here. Uh, this one. DG was popping my brother with a five euro says I'm just waiting for the day that African Americans realize Africa is a continent and the West Africans realize <coughs> they are you that you are not all African. Okay, yeah. Billy Goat with the yeah, two dollars sm- smile again, Gway. I'll take you. Black King conquering king with the five dollars. Most foreigners who come to America have a plan to leave. Don't stress Americans, most of us are just visiting. John, the analysis with the five dollars says, I need to see all of you niggas on the platform on that plant on that plantation tomorrow. What the fuck? I show I clock in. Hey, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. I've been, I hope, I mean, I've got to a point where I have to work for anybody, you know, but uh, whatever, any whoever you work for, man, learn it so you can do it for yourself, you know. Uh, That's a fact. Let's keep grinding, man. You know, information is 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 important too. You know, so I've yeah, been doing a good job with my workouts, right? But that's why yeah, I'm yeah. A, I'm gonna still holler at Mandrell because he got more information than me. You know what I'm saying? So even though I've been doing well with like this hit and this cardio, I'm like, okay, I got a brother that I know that knows more. I'm gonna still go to him if I can do better. You know, so just keep on tapping in with each other, man. You know what I mean? Ty, salute, my G. All right, man. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Do the right thing, man. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we out.